a weird dress, but here we are. We're going to teach it now. Um, I'm not getting any snare in my headphones. Oh, wait, that's a different. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. I have no wheat. I just kind of jumped in here without really looking. I was like, whatevs. Do a little setty up. Actually. Mit einem Fünftiger an der Klasse hier. Das kleine abgelaufene Kotelett und noch eine Flasche Bier. Hey. Dann bezahlte ich sie halt. Das war gemein. Ich kann nicht hören, was ich jetzt höre. Und Bar, was ist das? Doch zwei Wochen später traf ich ihn wieder. Er grinste schon von Weitem. Yeah, I set up my stream deck, so I'm really trying to use my starting screen more. I think it's class. I'm grinding weed off camera, so instead of that, look at but it's drugs. Look at stuff. Can you hear it? I can't hear the music. Look, he's in his bed. He was so little. Yeah, I picked royalty free music like two years ago and I just found a song that I thought slapped. Uh, that's why it's in here. It's royalty free, it's free, copyright, I'm this close to having a wiederholen. And Zyger's on his way now to the grocery store to get some uh, 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 alcohol. Start for squad. Look at me, baby. I really did get a copyright claim for Color Me Beds. I want to sex you up. I just uploaded all of my Yakuza videos to YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, this is so old. He's such a baby in all of these. This was from the first, like, four months he was alive. Um, look at him. He's all wet. And he's a tiny baby. Oh, God, he's so cute. Um, I took all of the videos I had on my phone and, like, mixed them together. Here's Talk learning about fire for the first time. And chasing his tail. Oh, God, I could watch this forever. He's so fucking cute. Uh, but yeah, I, I've been, I'm going to try to upload all of my YouTube videos, or all of my Twitch videos to YouTube going forward because of like the whole like DMCA strikes and shit. And I've already gotten two DMCA strikes on my YouTube uploads. One was, the audio cue was like Leatherface, and it was like menacing music in a trailer that we watched together. So it wasn't even like the trailer people call it. It was just a random sound effect, bullshit, nonsense DMCA strike. And then the second one was literally a DMCA strike for Color Me Bads, I Want to Sex You Up. Um. Yeah, my mommy got me those coasters for Christmas. So yeah, that's... Right? I mean, I was honestly a comment. I was like, I, I have been recreating Call Me Bads. Hit, I want to sex you up a little too perfectly. Talk, it's okay. When, so... Uh, talk, it's okay. You don't have to scream. Calm down. He's freaking out because uh, Zyger left. Zyger left this morning at 8 a.m. And we never leave anywhere at 8 a.m. And he spent the morning going like. <laughs> long, like not even howls, just like whimpery, howly, whiny. Song. I've never heard him make these songs before. And it was so sad. It was breaking my heart. Um, so then he hopped up on my bed and he was hanging out. Right, I am a hard-boiled criminal. I already had one strike from, uh, I got a strike from the Little Shop of Horrors that I uploaded because they sing a song in Spanish at one point, and that Spanish song playing in the background of the club once got copyright striked. Yeah. 
so that's fun for the whole family. But it doesn't matter. We're gonna play some Yakuza. I have no idea how loud this is. To resume the game. Well, that's easy as shit. I guess I never really left. Um, first time I ever did, I got a copyright strike on. Oh my god. Look, I match now. It was over the music and we should talk. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's really fucked up. Um, our culture has failed us. Can't wait to get a copyright strike for all of the diner sounds rummaging around. <laughs> this is not it. So I got this. I thought it would be like a cute little dress, but it's super like Japanese maid outfit dress. And so I don't really know. That cutesy shit like, is really infantile and looks kind of dumb on me, um, I think. But I really like the color. So it's like. Yeah, this is my favorite color combination. If like my my dreams of having a child have extended so as far as if I ever had a daughter, I would do my nursery like these two colors in white, like cream. Uh, actually, I think they're very cute and girly and adorable. But this is a unitard, so I can sit however I want. I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> Telling your lady she's gonna be horrified and confused. Like, oh, no, 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 no. We already did this. What's really sad is it's really cold. So I've got, um, I got fluffy socks on. But you can't really see them. But just know that I have really fluffy socks on. They're great. Rawr, they're fluffy. <coughs> you can do sit-ups any day. I'm not a coward. Don't make me do any sit-ups ever. I'm just so sad I lost my controller. Okay. Where are we? Oh, yeah! Okay, so I have to go watch a date. <laughs> Sir girl, I love you so much. Also, I finished my street my stream deck at about 5 a.m. and I wasn't sure if you kept your phone on silent or not and I was terrified I was going to wake you up at 5 a.m. Um, so that is why I did not send you pictures of my stream deck, but I will after the stream because I know you're awake and because I can ask you if that'll wake you up. Okay, let's try this out. No. Let's see. My Elgato's been playing games with my emotions lately. Oh my god, I would be a great cooking mama. Like actually, like actual actually, I'd be a great cooking mama. My pet webcam was working, but I didn't like where it was, so I unplugged it to move it. So now it's not working. <laughs> I'm like, no. Oh, my phone doesn't even make sense when you call it, so it's cool, that's good to know. I just want this one camera to work, but it's not working. And then I will do sit-ups. I almost called talks to a girl. I just say a name, like that's the problem. Is I just fucking, I just say a name, I don't even care. I just pick one and, and then I'm like, uh, Jonathan, wait, who is that? I'm talking about my dog. And some people will be like, like people notice. I call talk Zyger and Zyger talk all the time. But that's just because those are the only two people that are in the general vicinity all the time. If there were four people, I would do weird combinations of all four of their names. Like, I don't know if it's a thing or what it is or, like, how this happens. But for some fucking reason, I can't do anything else. Okay, well, here, we'll just put this in here. I ate a bunch of McDonald's before I passed out last night, and I was going to reheat it before I went to bed. Or before I, like, I was going to reheat it for food today, but then I just got out of bed right now, so. I haven't, so my desk looks insane. I have a camera that wasn't supposed to show my desk. But fuck us, I guess. Um. Okay, 
I got this. I'm doing 10 push-ups. That's it. Look at how cute he is. He's so tiny and cute. Look at him. And there's Milo. Like they're best friends. They love each other. <sighs> yeah, I meant sit ups. I get confused about which exercises are which. I vote for psychers, I vote for freedom. <laughs> Look at Milo. So this is where I had the other camera set up. But I guess fuck. But yeah, look at they're so fucking cute. I'm so tired. Yeah, that box that I kicked is the box that our PS5 came in, but Milo fucking loves it. So I've been leaving it, like, right next to the record player bed. Um, because it just makes him so happy. Everybody for freedom. See, like, he loves his little box. This is what I do all day. I just stare. Because they do such cute things. Look at him. He's got tiny feet. He's got little tiny feet. But he can walk anywhere he wants to on them. Oh, I think they just texted me about alcohol. Okay. I hope you bring something good. All right, we're done with this. Say goodbye to Milo. Look at what's he doing? <gasps> we got that bag, though. Talk is like right next to him. You can see Talk's little paw up in the corner. So I thought he was lunging for Talk, but nope, he was going for the bag. Oh, and this bed keeps moving all over the place because look, Milo tries to get under it all the time. And so he tries to get under it and instead he just pushes it around the living room. <sighs> this is all just from last night. At like 3 a.m., I decided to go to bed halfway through eating just way too much McDonald's. But yeah, he tries to like dive under the bed. Whoa. He's so funny. And he moves it. So this bed is not usually here. It just kind of wanders all along the house. Like this red bag, you can see the straps for the, the strap for the bags right here. And then the bag's up there. Um, that grocery bag ripped and then Milo fell in love with it. So I've just been letting him play with it. Look at him. What's he doing? Why does he want to go under there? I don't know. I spent a lot of time looking at cats. I'm almost 30 and I'm single. Beggars, like, so do you want hard alcohol or do you want you making me happy? And I'm like, I just texted back. I was like, I would like Jamaican me happy and a bottle of rum. And there's something about ending a sentence with and a bottle of rum that makes it sound like you're kidding. <laughs> I'd be like, I really do want a bottle of rum. I hope that doesn't sound like a joke because I literally just said in a bottle of rum. Okay. I texted Zyg. So this is a conversation. I'm not fucking nuts. I'm going to read this. 
Did you want hard alcohol or like Jamaican me happy? Like Jamaican me happy is very different than like tequila, you know? And I do know, fair question. So I said, I would like Jamaican me happy and a bottle of rum. That's verbatim. And he responded, black or white? I said, I would like Jamaican me happy and a bottle of rum. And he responded, black or white? Now, I'm going to assume he meant dark rum or light rum, which is how I chose to answer the question. <laughs> but can you get me a bottle of rum, black or white? <laughs> right, he definitely means light or dark, right? And I didn't even correct him. I didn't even bully him for it. I'm bullying him here. They can't see it. Um, cause maybe he means something different, but I take that to mean light or dark rum. And I was like, I'll take dark rum if they have it. So I get like, I think maybe like, cause like tequila blanca is like white tequila. So he's like, there's a white rum. So the opposite must be black. Yeah, exactly. Like, like white rum is a thing, but it's not white rum or black rum. It's white rum or dark rum. There are spiced rums. I haven't heard of it called black spiced rum before, but I'm sure a very, very dark rum could, yeah, could do that. But typically it's like, if you buy a bottle of Captain Morgan rum, that's not black rum. That's just regular dark rum. And then if you buy a bottle of Captain Morgan white, you're buying white rum. <laughs> but it's usually not black or white rum is how that question is phrased. It's usually dark or white or like dark or light, but it's usually not black or white. Because Captain Morgan is about like Kraken. Like Kraken is a very, very, very dark, very heavily spiced specialty rum. I've had Hennessy, I think like once. <coughs> My friend was a flight attendant and she used to take all the little nip alcohol bottles. Like you could always grab a couple every flight. So when I'd go to her house, she'd have a mini fridge stocked up with all of the nicest alcohols, but in the teeny tiny bottles. And I think I had a teeny sure. bottle of her Hennessy once. Like I think I took a nip of Hennessy. But she would always take the nips of gin and bring them to me because I was the only person she knew that liked gin, which is why it's great to like gin. Because you become the only person that likes gin. I'm going to the movie theater. I know where I'm going. I'm smart. <gasps> my plants. I should check on my plants too. So we'll check on the plants. And once we get there, it's straight down to the, 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 the doohickey. This is an old guy that thinks money works like asking an ATM and it just keeps going. That's how I feel about uh, fucking Jack Daniels. I drank, I got shit faced off Jack Daniels New Year's Eve when I was 20. And I made the kind of mistakes I've never made again. And I've made a lot of mistakes more than once. So that's really fucking saying something. <laughs> oh, that's. Whoop! Dude, I was so far across the street. Lawsuit. Fuck you. You go to hell. I can't believe that motherfucker just hit me. Yeah, I haven't fucked with Jack Daniels since 2011. Like, nope. I heard a guy's feeling so bad, he put out three lit cigarettes on his arm that night. You ever heard a guy's feelings that bad? You ever heard a guy's feelings so bad, he went outside and burned himself with a cigarette? And then tried to play it off like he hadn't just burned himself with a cigarette while covered in obvious circular cigarette burns. I have. Right. Right. I'm gonna kill this ass acid. Ass acid. Ass acid Ide got his ass kicked. Oh, I didn't even say anything, Versified. I just had sex with his best friend in the same room as him when I thought he was asleep. He wasn't asleep. And he definitely had a crush on me. Ooh. That's like the second worst thing I've ever done. I don't think I'd ever talk about the worst thing I've ever done on stream because I do have some things I like to keep to myself. But the second worst thing I've ever done is probably that. Hey, Gray! Still feel bad about it. Didn't know you were awake. Sorry. You should black out from drinking harder, Eddie okay. I'm sorry, I'm hitting everyone. I don't care. I got hit by a car and it was bullshit and I'm taking it out on the world. 
Yeah, is that ambulance for me? Because I just got hit by a fucking car. It was an accident. And by an accident, I mean I was drunk and I thought everyone else was asleep. This still has seven minutes left. I've been here nine years. This shit still has seven minutes left. All right, let's plant these little garage seedlings. I'd call that planning. All right. Damn. Good. Okay, well the judgment I wasn't expecting from my friends. That's fine. I was 20 years old. Okay. I actually might have been 19. Hold on. 2011. No, 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 20. 2020. It's December, my birthday's in March, so I was like, wait, is this right before I turned 20 or right before I turned 21? And it was right before I turned 21. Not right before. Wait. Moved to Rockford in 2010. Dated you still for a year. We broke up October of 2011 for the first time. I moved to Florida in December of 2011. This was New Year's Eve 2011. I was born in 1992. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, no, I was 19. I was like, I don't think I was 20 because I remember my because my 21st birthday was different. And I was like, this was not three months apart from my 21st birthday. So no, I was only 19. I was 19 years old. I had been having sex for a year and a half. I was dumb. I had been drinking for like eight months. And it was the, the Florida's when I learned how to smoke weed. So like, that was probably one of the first times I ever smoked weed too. Right, 19 years old. I mean, 20 is not that different from 19. We like to pretend it is, but it's not. Um, but still, I was a teenager. And I still feel bad about it. That shit was nine years ago. Hey, are you gonna hit me once I run over there like a total fucking dick? Just making sure, cause some people like to run my ass over for no fucking reason. Oh. I knew that I could only go this way. I wanted to do that. Wait, what's in here? No. Well, yeah, I liked a guy and his friend liked me. And so I'm trying to hook up with this guy and like his, you know, little fucking friend wouldn't leave me alone and finally he got drunk and passed out and I'm like finally uh, like, I don't get to have sex with anybody else because someone else is crushing me I've been doing that my whole life though but Oh, oh God. I thought it was, there was gonna be a wall here so I could just look. I don't wanna cross the street and get lost. Um, so I'm just gonna beat these guys up. Oh, maybe I'm not, maybe they'll be cool. But they won't be, but they won't be. Oh, see, no, that's not the way. Yeah, I got this. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> He's a primal psychopath. That's fucking crazy. Right. I mean, if they knew that she was fucking good at the same time, that would be whatever. But something tells me we didn't. That's why I was like, that's fucked up. back on my weed because I'm a responsible adult. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Hmm. Okay. We're a little risk for wear, but we're going to the movies. What could possibly happen at the movie theater? We're watching them go on a date. The guy that beat her up couldn't possibly be here ready to beat up her and him. And we're going to have to fight him. That's probably not what's going to happen. And I have no magic in half my health. It's fine. 
He's got flowers. Mm. He did it. He did it. It was the easiest thing in the world, but he got it right, okay? He's still wearing the same clothes, mm -hmm. but that's fine. Aw, oh, sweet girl. I thought they were meeting around noon. Oh, no. Has he been standing here since fucking noon? No, 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 Ooh. no. Uh, for real? I've been waiting here for five hours. Don't you think that you might have been stood up? Yeah. Oh, God. And he doesn't have a cell phone because he's homeless. Her and my brother were going out and never told me. Oh, no. So is this a boyfriend? Is this a brother? Who am I beating up? Who's that with her? Yeah, have a feeling. Oh. Let's see how hard I nailed this. You're the one trying to work with- But if she has a boyfriend, why is she doing accepting dates? Like that was obviously a romantic date. No, it is like that. Kuroi-san's just trying to date you. I fucking ask you. You can just put your hands on another man's woman. I mean, he, yeah, he's not trying to do that. I'm feeling something was up when she wanted to break up all of a sudden. Oh! <laughs> to think you were being played by this jerk off. When we get back home, I'm really gonna give you a piece of my mind. And by mind, I mean fist. And by fist, I mean backhand. Yeah. So you gave her those bruises. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. Yeah, what of it? At least I have a worse you haircut bastard. than you. Let's go. Himbos unite! Himbos don't hit women. That's what makes them better than most other men. Maybe we aren't fighting! Apologize! Apologize to Shirakawa san right now! Huh? You little. Don't fuck with me! You're the one that's gonna apologize. I'm gonna beat your ass! <laughs> Yeah, Versace was about to say, um, would be weird does not mean never tried. I'm gonna kill you all. I don't care if I commit murder. Oh, yeah, I'm like a shadow. That's not cute. I had a guy try to court me for like two years in like, like in sixth grade and seventh grade and eighth grade. He tried to court me like on AIM and stuff. And I was like, oh no, thank you. You look like you're sticky all the time. Um,. And then freshman year, my stepsister and I moved into moved in with each other and I came home from school one day and they were making out on the couch and I walked in and he flew up off the couch. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing here? And I'm like, what the fuck are you making out with my sister? And he's like, your sister? And it was a whole like b beautiful comedy of errors. Um, yeah, I didn't even know, but you know. The worst thing to that is, well, one, he deserved it. Two, no, I think that it's way worse. He, would, like, he looks sticky all the time. You know, like, people that, like, huh? oh, that person's sticky. He had that, like, Brillo pad, red hair. And, uh, here we go. If he's not an incel now, I'll be shocked. Like, you know, like, he had that vibe. He had hella incel vibe. Does she have a sound effect for that? I've I've only seen a couple episodes of Seinfeld, but I was I had one more room on my like one more spot on my soundboard, and I was looking for something else, and then I found the baseline for Seinfeld, and I was like, okay, I do love the Seinfeld baseline, and I think I know how to use it as a joke, so that's you why okay, I'm not it, but I'm a totally opposer. Karoy-san, are you hurt? But that's I'm what I thought. So I was sorry. like, I have so many comedy of error stories. My actions put everyone in danger. No, 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 no. Your shitty boyfriend put everyone in danger, but you dumped him for me. I had no love for him anymore, but I kept lying to myself because I was scared of being hit again. But when I saw Kuroi-san working so hard to change his life around, I knew I had to make a change too. In the end, I'm the one who caused all this trouble. It's not your fault, Shirakawa-san. Anyway, are you okay? Yeah, 
I'm fine. This is nothing new. Forgive me. I should have noticed sooner. Honestly, this whole experience has been rather eye-opening. I've realized <coughs> I still can't do anything by myself. There's something I have to tell you, Shirakawa-san. I had a friend figure about out what? what you liked before I started talking to you and doing all the work. I've still got a lot to learn. And I'm not exactly strong enough to protect you just Look yet. Look at the flowers. But I'll change. My entire life, I've always given up whenever things get tough. I was so afraid of failure. This has always been a Japanese drama. But I'm not going to give up on myself anymore. I'm going to change. I'm going to get a proper job and become a proper man. I'll become a man worthy of you and do everything I can to make you happy. If you don't commit me with this energy, don't fucking so, uh, come at me. Period. Do you? Period. Do you think you could wait for me until then? No, just do it now. I, um, sorry. I know it sounds like a lot. Unlike me, you've actually got a future ahead of you. Yes, well, in that future, I see myself with you, Kuroi-san. In fact, I'm almost certain about it. Huh? I'll wait for you. No, just start fucking dating. So when that time comes, you think maybe we can catch a movie? Oh, look, here's some flowers. Oh. That time is now. Of course. I, I'd love to take you to the movies. We're standing in front of the movies right now. Like a movie can be caught right now. Thank you. Good okay, luck, give Roy. her the fucking flowers. Yes, thank you. That was a good one. That was insane, but that was your... I could honestly say I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I keep forgetting palmates doesn't always mean hurt. I bet hers is gonna be like a supporty, like I cut you some soup and now everyone's experience or everyone's shit is healed. I shouldn't get that. I was like, is she gonna like chop some motherfuckers up and shove a carrot up their ass? Like what's happening? I don't know. Where does your mind go? Um, okay. I don't think there's anything to do but the story quest now, so let's see. Little Hime Land. I haven't done a Look at his outfit. He's just a dildo knight. There we go. See? Gotta do a little check every socket. Oh, we should save. We should save. Hey, buds. Hi, Sky Spuds. Ah! I closed my mouth at the exact right moment. Oh. There we go. I didn't close my mouth at the exact right moment for that one. Is that the new Shovel Knight DLC? I think it was like a hyper water. No, I thought it was like a hyper beam. And that's where there was smoke when it was done. I thought it was like a, like a Kamehame Blue Ha. I don't know. I thought how many hands are yellow, aren't they? Why am I like I thought they were yellow, and then as soon as I said that, um, I was like, wait, are they blue? Right? It was like a hyper beam. Thank you. Mecha Shadow gets it. You just live in the gutter. How many hot is blue? I'm being told. Nope. Ow. I was like, I'm gonna be so brave and strong. It shreds my hands. It's yellow in his in his in his emo Zyger. The the Kamehameha Wait, that one's blue. What? What's the yellow one? This I'm being told that the normal attack is yellow and the Kamehameha is blue, which is why I got confused. I thought the giant laser attack only came in Kamehameha. I didn't realize you could have a normal laser attack.
I'm telling a boy he's not paying enough attention to me and that our relationship is basically, you know, like in persona where you have like social links, but then you can have like a broken link where it takes a step back. I'm trying to inform him that he's fucked up. And so now our social link is taking a step back, but I don't know how to speak human. And I don't want to actually say that analogy because I'm a crazy person. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how to put that into human words. Yeah, it would never be a solar beam. No, Kaylee, never casting a solar beam, never going outside. Why do they get it? But it's just like, that sounds like crazy. Are you repairing, like comparing your real life to an RPG? Fine, I'll just say. Okay, there we go, we'll just say it. Boy, you fucked up. <laughs> you done did it now. I don't like it when I'm like, yeah, I think you fucked up and I've put walls back up that you had started to take down. And their response is, that's okay. I'll take as long as, it doesn't matter how long it takes. Um, even, in, you know, two steps forward, one step back is still progress. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. I'm not going to be in a relationship some with somebody where it's two steps forward, one step back all the time. I'm not going to do that. So you've taken two steps forward, one step back. And if you take one more step back, I'm taking 12 steps back out the door. Goodbye. Um, but people don't really understand that concept because I'm apparently not clear enough. <laughs> right, Michelle? Like, I don't know how else to say it. Like, um, no, like, you've been, like, in the friend zone for two years, and you finally crawled yourself out of it, and now I'm putting you back in it. Like, that's what I'm trying to tell you. You're not getting it. Like, you're acting like you still have a shot, and I'm telling you I'm, cons I'm reconsidering whether or not you have a shot. What part of that aren't you getting? I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. Actually, I'm not. I'm getting wishing I was smoking more weed and drinking. What's that called? Depressed. That's what that's called. Ooh, why? What's up? I can't oh, I seem to remember the title of this movie I saw a few years back. I mean, it was one of those real emotional rides. And I remember wanting to see it I don't want to get seen again. by an enemy. It was a, a boy meets girl movie. Your, uh, or was it my... My pancreas wants right, to scream. Right, exactly, Sky Something like that. What the hell are you talking about? Does the hero have a stomach ache or something? Maybe it was about a guy who wanted to quit drinking. Is that nah, pancreas? It's all about being young and what a nice time that is. Well, I'll let you know if I ever spot it. <laughs> oh, was it yo, my stomach's gonna blow? Maybe? It's not about a stomach ache. I don't think he's gonna remember. It's not about a stomach ache, that's stupid. It's about a pancreas. <laughs> Duh. Okay. I'm always worried that I'm gonna like get into a fight in the middle of one of those scenes. Oh, look! Cause I walked by a barber, right? Hit me with it. Give me my barber, I earned this. You really want a punch perm? Yeah, punch perms are kind of my thing. I this can tell. This crazy shit up top was actually supposed to be a punch perm. But, well, look how that turned out. What? I thought you were just making a fashion statement. <laughs> you call this fashionable? Yeah, I think it looks great. Oh, for real? Well, maybe I'll keep it around a little longer. Oh, for real? The punch perch. God damn it! I was at the fucking end! Taxis and this shit. That was a 20 minute long cutscene. I don't get any fucking experience for. Cause these jackass clown wearing motherfuckers decided to hop in. He was literally saying the last fucking sentence. Literally saying the last sentence. Go fuck yourself. Choke on every dick. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? It's so annoying. Don't make it 20 long minute dialogue where if you get interrupted at any point for any reason, it cancels out and you don't get anything for it. And then also put enemies every 20 seconds that respawn every five seconds. Uh, Are you shitting me? Yeah, the, uh, you, yeah. Oh, for real? Oh, well, maybe I'll This was a really cute thing, and now I'm fucking pissed. What about punch perms were your thing? Literally, he had said the last yeah. line. He had nice. said it. Infuriating. That is infuriating. How is no one else screaming about this? Is it just me? Are we discovering a me thing? Oh, that's me. I'm pissed. I'm gonna run into traffic. <laughs> this is 
is how I'm gonna die. Oh shit, that's really just how I'm gonna die. No! I just live! I just live! Pretty good. So good. Pretty good. Okay, now I can survive two cars. I no longer give a fuck. Good, you guys are standing there already. Blocking traffic, perfect. Just let me fucking walk. I'm not kidding when I say the camera is kooky as shit in this game. Like, I, like I, I just need to take this off. I'm taking the, here. I'm not, I'm not using the right stick ever again. I'm not using it. Because like I said before, if you try to use, what I naturally do is when I'm walking around, I'm looking like this and I'm moving like this. Like they're moving in tandem. That is how I control my character, is that these hands move in tandem to move the camera while I'm moving the person. But this motherfucking, uh, this motherfucking thing, the left stick moves the camera so fucking much. Look, I, I don't have a left, a right stick anymore. I took it off. Everything you see from now on is gonna be just using the left stick. See how much the camera moves with just the left stick? It's so disorienting for me. Like I keep spinning around in fucking circles because I move the camera a little bit and it swings really crazy because the left stick is also moving the camera. It's so confusing to me. Like I know like my complaints with games are usually really small, like the character, oh, it's on the other side of the street, that's what I'm saying. Um, like the character thing, I get that. Um, I should go to a restaurant, fuck it. But this, it's just, it's, it's why I get so confused. Like, look, again, I can't stress enough. I'm gonna, like, keep one hand here. Who the fuck is this guy? Is this a red Pokemon? Oh, a sandwich. Oh, there's two. Killboard. Oh, they're level 13. Fuck them. Killboard instead of Killboard. That's funny. I'm up. Cool. Let's cool. Very cool. Check this out. Okay, cocky. Yes. Great jelly is gross, but strawberry jelly is delicious. Watch You're this. Gonna be in a world of and raspberry and blackberry and boysenberry. It's hard to go wrong with a berry. I can do now. blueberry jam on my toast when I get those little like sample jars for all different kinds. Other than that, I don't really buy, buy like blueberry by itself, but yeah, you know, it's still good. I will not eat apricot jelly on my sandwiches or peach jelly on my PB&J, but I will use apricot and peach jellies in my cooking. Like my, I told you guys about this. Like these sleeves are pretty decent. Like I like knuckle dusters. Um, so and so like these sleeves are pretty well, close, okay, which is why I, I haven't had to pull them up. But sometimes they do fall down. But again, look it. Actually, I want to look in this trash real quick. <gasps> yes, hmm? trash. Why would you act like you do? Okay, I got that already. Please excuse me. Please, everyone, excuse me. I'm trying to get to this fine eating establishment. This way? <gasps> I did it! Please excuse me, dear Aunt Sally. Yeah. I think that's the one we learned, too. I don't know why I bring Pam Dawson to this. But it's multiply slash divide and it's add slash subtract to them left to right for the record. Anybody wanted to level up right now? Oh, no, we're on the way to a restaurant. Fuck it.
I feel that for Spud. So it's I keep wanting to use my thumb on the right stick so bad, you have no idea. But I haven't been. It's just muscle memory. Sometimes like this. Oh, it's on the other side. I saw the food menu and I was like, food? Right here for me? Pancake explosion, many deaths are suspected. I did not hear that one. That sounds like a stupid thing they invented for the kids younger than me. Like, my very excellent mother just served us nine pizzas is the correct fucking thing. People people bring in like weird yes, shit. Was I don't know. But the correct planet naming thing is my very excellent mother just served us nine pizzas. Nothing else. And if you need to know how a compass works, it's never eat soggy waffles. Speaking of waffles. Okay, so here, we're just gonna get our slippers. And Pebbles, number one side dish goes really well with alcohol. Okay. Takoyaki, okay. So we'll get some. I'll do it for quite a while. I'm gonna get all of the, what looks like like classic favorites things. See if that makes anything. Who's hungry? Yeah, no, never eat sour. No, that's a lie. That's confusing. The correct answer is never eat soggy waffles. Because why would you eat soggy waffles? It's gross. Yeah. Takagaki is fried octopus. Well, it's chunks of octopus in a fried dough. The octopus itself. Mm, tasty. You're welcome. Oh, I forgot. I was like, did I do I have another thing to cash in with the police officer? Why is he not gaining rank? And that's because his rank is max. Okay, now that we're a little drunk. Yeah, it's like octopus in a little pancake ball, which has never once sounded appealing. I just, I love fried little dough balls. That sounds so delicious. And they put chunks of octopus in it. And it's like, why do you hurt me? Again, that was all the fucking left stick. <laughs> it's just that the other side looks so much more inviting. That's why I keep going on the other side. Shit. I thought this fucking well, shampoo. Well, sky spuds. Neptune yeah, and Pluto do switch fresh. faces based on their orbit because both their orbits are elliptical. Crap, so you, what? Why does Pluto have to be in the one in the back? Sorry. It could easily go the other way. Kasuga, relax. I know what a naked man looks like. I love her. Uh, you have your cool. shirt off. It's then, uh, chill. Uh, where's Adachi-san and Namba? I'm probably still washing up. It's anyway, a dragonfish. To today's price list. Those ingredients that came in were purchased at some pretty hefty prices. Like what you'd expect for high class stuff. Must be primo then. Guess they aren't lying to the restaurants about the quality. Nope. I mean, I'm sure they get a small discount for paying in cash, but they're doing everything above board, far as I can tell. Damn. The only weird thing is how much they're reselling the ingredients for. What's weird? Like, take the shark fins. They buy 100 grams for 10,000 yen. How much would you sell them to a restaurant for? Uh, to make a decent profit on them... Chunks of 20, plus. 20,000? Well, the Yokohama Trading Company sells them for just 10,000. What? Wait, wait, they buy it for 10,000 yen, then sell it for 10,000 yen? That doesn't make any sense. How They're are they turning a profit? Down. Right? Unless it's volunteer work or something, I don't get it. How are they even staying open? Don't they at least need to cover their overhead? Not only have they stayed open, their profits have gone up over the years. For the life of me, I can't figure out how. Oh, I wish I could look at their ledger and not just their invoices. What would that tell you? I don't know. And that's I why Florida is hot! signs of tax evasion. Don't do anything that would give yourself away. 
This is the Yokohama Liumon, remember? <laughs> I'll be fine. But oh, you're you, really that worried about me? Of course I'm worried. Of course. You're just Why? Because we're buddies. Because we're buddies! We're buddies. Huh. That's what? so great! It's a good thing, ain't it? I don't even know if I want to romance just... her now. <sighs> I've never really had someone that I could call a buddy. I always just kind of thought movies and manga made that stuff up. That's a mood. But at the very I feel least, that. it was something I'd never have. Well, you were wrong, because now you've got us on your side. Awesome. Remember, you need good party members to beat Dragon Quest. Uh, I thought that said maybe they're selling shark game? drugs inside the well, shark fins. Yeah, but uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> You're a weird one. I can live with weird. It's okay, true. Okay, now anyway. I do kind of want to romance her. Well, <laughs> thank you, Kasuga, for and making me one of your buddies. And it's not just because of the peek at that titties. <laughs> What's up? Someone dying here? We're literally huh? in a great oh, mood. We were just. Well, hey, seeing as we've got a long, hard road ahead of us, let's knock back some drinks. Yeah! Sure. On whose tab? Well, Mine, I'm rich. The pay bonuses the boss left us. That was 30 bucks each. Come on, man. We gotta save those for a rainy day. Oh, I'd be so cheap. Black buddies. The boss is in the afterlife right now, yelling at us to live while we can. You're full of shit. I say we don't do it. Adachi san turns a bit feral when it comes to alcohol. The last thing boss did was give us that thirty dollars. I'm pretty sure he wants us to get drunk with them. I need to start crowdsourcing a drinking game for this. For this game is the word I'm thinking of. I'm like for this, not movie, not TV show. <laughs> what are these interactive pictures called? I'm never getting hit by a car again. I say every time I get hit by a car. Every time he says Dragon Quest. Every time we get a new Hugimon unlocked, we should drink. Every time someone loses a finger, finish your drink. Prostitution's gotta go! No I love we're just like, prostitution! I was like, yeah! It's Bleach Japan. What the hell? The place is already shut down. What do they want now? To be difficult. My friends, look at this filthy evil den of iniquity. You're in an iniquity. Yes, How'd that feel? It's an ugly little soap land. Just the other day, our tireless efforts led to the shuttering of this foul place. Yeah! We did it! yeah! yeah! Yeah. Every time you do a perfect card, the first bricks of the grace I guess that that's gonna kill me, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Away. But we must not be complacent. We must press on until all the gray zones have been purified. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we're oh, wait, in morning no. right now. It's really hey, not a good time. Someone just died here, so maybe fuck I'm off. I'm sorry. I didn't realize there was still vermin lurking around here. Don't you have any respect for people in grief? Don't you have any respect for the law? The shop is closed. This building should be vacant. That yeah! is right! You heard him. Get out of town, you riffraff. It's not called riffraff. Keep your protest to shouting. You lay hands on us, there will be hell to pay. <laughs> Hey, did you all see that? This thug's showing us his true colors. Okay. He thinks You're he can the use violence to yeah, crush the voices of the people. He's obviously living in the past. Hurry, let's close up before they start in on us too. Where's the Seriu clan when you need them? What are we paying them protection money for? Get the friggin' heck out of here! People like you are ruining society! You're all criminals. You're enemies of good people. Can we finally beat the shit out of all these people? I know we can't. It won't do any good, but I really want to. Get out of our town and don't ever come back. 
I'm just grateful the owner of this shop finally realized what he truly was. A filth-spreading vector of disease. He did the noble thing by taking his own life. Oh, you shit. What was his name? No, no, Mia. Just looking at him made me want to vomit. I really can't bring myself to be sorry that he's gone. I, I just want to hit him so bad. At the end of a rope. <sighs> oh my god. I feel the same way I do when I finish my spring cleaning. I want to spit on him. <clears throat> See? As a woman, you can hit whoever Who you, you want. Think you are? Get the fuck out of here. Don't. That won't work, Sachan. Why not? He needs a super nut punch. Too late now, you little tart! You assaulted me! You all saw it! Someone called the police! Okay, I am an idol. Slapping a guy like him never does much. No. What? This kind of fucker. You gotta hit him like this! <laughs> oh, we're just going for it. Our leader's down! Let's get in there! I mean, I'll beat the shit out of every single one of you. I don't give a fuck. Seriously? You brought bats? What, were you hoping for a quick ball game during the protest? Oh, we're gonna super nut punch him. They were ready to incite violence all along. We're good to go, right, boss? Yeah, we threw the of first course. punch. You saw it. They attacked us first. We are standing our ground. Come on, everyone. This is our moment. The it's just that beating them up isn't gonna do anything. We have to kill all of them and hide the bodies. You're going down. Hope you're ready. You're in it now. He's not even here, that little fucking coward bitch. Out of all your little friends, then I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. And y'all are talking about cuts. This is a simp zone, which is very different than a cuck zone. Unless you're into that, in which case you can be a cuck simp. Like if you simp be a cucking, that's fine. Now we're talking. Nobody needs to know where my weaknesses are. You're in it now. Huh? I just want this to take a while. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah? I just want to keep punching him. Like, I just want to beat him up normal. You know? Like, it feels so good. It feels right that she would get the last one. We'll hit him on his down. That feels right. 
I am feeling better. I mean, that's not gonna end well. It's just gonna, it's gonna go someplace terrible. Cocksmith is my new Smurf account. <laughs> yeah, beating him with a giant vibrator and then having a woman kick him while he's down was a really great yeah. that. My drink matches. <laughs> And my chair matches. Someone and my stream matches. Tell them we're being attacked by thugs. Why does he still have teeth? Everyone hates you. You disrupt Go his mess. Go away! 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 Everyone away. hates you. Go away. This means we're allowed this to murder him. Go away. Go the memory away. of today will only Go strengthen away. our resolve. Go away. We're done playing around. I will beat you up so many times. I don't give a fuck. It will never Serves stop being right. enjoyable. Don't come back. Yeah, you little bitch. This is our town. Good job, everyone. So inspiring to see you fight evil. Cause I'm a hero. Yeah. Remember this day with pride. Level nine here. <laughs> they got what was coming to them. I couldn't let him talk shit about the recently departed like that. But I'm the one who got us into a scuffle. Uh, sorry, I should have stayed calm. Nah, don't worry about it. Now we know what they're really about. Besides. Yeah, we are, you yeah. know. Yeah. If somebody messes with one of us, they mess with all of us. Man, that felt good! After all this time, we got to actually do something! Yeah! I wish those useless bums in the Seiryu clan could have seen that! Oh, come on, they ain't that bad. Yes, they are. We can't rely on them. I've realized something. No one's gonna protect us but us. The Yakuza aren't gonna help. I agree. These dudes are way more reliable than that dumb Seiryu clan. Yeah! We'll make our yeah. own Yakuza. Remember with Snapchat and hookers. You that's them. what the Yakuza you should has. Teach them way it's not actually not that different around. from the other ones. But, like, also more stuff. Oh, yeah, that they all stopped paying protection. Like, we let that one family stop paying protection money to the Korean mafia, but that's because they were like, all right, this dude's cool, and it's just one family. But now, we're getting real froggy. Doc, who are you yelling at? <laughs> Mom's a empty. And get another copyright strike, because it's so good at singing. It was like forever since I got a compliment. Aww. Really? Cause Sai just told me my hair looked great like 20 minutes ago. You all heard her. Hmm? Well, I'm pretty sure that you're drinking here with us, so. Sir girl, are you drinking? <coughs> Then I guess. Yeah, I'm not feeling hungry yet. Uh, hello, ma'am. Ma'am. Ma Is it closed today? It's closed every day, no, babe. No, no, Mia san. It's me, Erika Mataki. Girl, I got bad news. Uh, can I help you? Are you here for an interview or something? What? Oh, no. I'm not here for an interview. And you are? Oh, I'm Kasuga. I guess you could say I used to work here. Really? You worked here? Oh, well, anyway. Is Ooh, no airport. Mia in right now? I'm supposed to meet with him today. Uh, you see, 
I'm trying to scroll up to see what Zygrave is mistaken about. You know. No, what? He's well, dead. No, no, Mia's son. He. He died. What? Uh. He's. I don't. He, he can't be. Uh, that's not. Uh. Oh, did you do that thing where hey. they faint? Oh, shit. That's dumb. I think we're losing her. Hey, you all right? We're losing her like she's coding out? She fainted. I think we're losing her. I think we're losing her. That was fair. Are you feeling better? I'm so sorry. That was so embarrassing. I've been trying to get a hold of Nonomiya-san by phone for the longest time, but I never wasn't really answering because he was dead. Away. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, sorry to refer to you. Uh, by the way, what's your name? I'm Ari. I'm president of Ichiban Confections. Well, damn, Ari Chan, you're a president at your age. That's incredible. Ichiban Confections? Nice. My name's Ichiban too, actually. Ichiban Kasuka. Great minds think alike. <laughs> what a coincidence. Amazing. I'm sure I don't need to tell what you What a this, coincidence! It also means the best, which is why my grandfather chose it. What a coincidence! He That's not a people Senbei name! to be the best in Yokohama. Ah, uh, Senbei. Man, I love a good rice cracker. Anyway, how do you know Nonomiya-san? Well... Nonomiya-san was supposed to step in and take over the company. I came by today to discuss things with him. What? Nonomiya-san? President of a legitimate business? I mean, he was a savvy businessman. Regardless he did of have the cabaret, said. too. Oh, right. So, Ichiban Confections only sells snacks, right? Nothing, uh, else? Correct. My grandfather started it back in the day, selling his prized yeah. senbei. No, it's just but a after Japanese he passed away, pop culture My father thing. took over and expanded the business to Real other Real Japanese women are delicate, so they faint at the slightest provocation. We actually got to be kind of big. That, like, and we even gained a bit of a reputation in Ijingcho. It's annoying until, in Otome games. You faint constantly. Until, the more you faint, the more the guys until like you. Until three years ago, when my father succumbed to an illness. Her bangs my are how my mom made me do my bangs when I was a kid. So there we didn't really have anyone we could turn to to keep the business afloat. I was still a student back then. And I been out I of quit disgust. school to come back home. I wasn't about to let the dream my father and grandfather worked so hard to make a reality go to waste. I worked day in, day out to learn the business, but I guess it still wasn't enough. I'm a complete amateur, so managing everything was really difficult. And to make things worse, I got tricked into what I thought would be a good deal for us. Uh-oh. Now most of our stores and businesses belong to a bunch of crooks. That's messed up. The only thing left is the Senbei shop. My father and grandfather would be so ashamed of me. And with the loan I was still paying, staying in charge of the business would have only made things worse. She's Although I hated the thought, I'd considered closing Ichiban Confections for good. But that's when Nonomiya-san showed up and offered a helping hand. He was an angel investor in a candy shop, and he got murdered by the Yakuza. He used to be a regular of the Senbei shop. And not only that, but he treated me like a daughter ever since I was a baby. When he heard about how the business was in trouble, he immediately stepped in to help. He paid off my loan in full, and even offered to help run the business so that my grandpa Senbei could live on. Oh, crazy. There's no no Should I know what a cool Senbei is? The down low again. He deserved more respect than he got. Yeah. I thought maybe this was going to be another one of those exploiter and, you know, force her to work in his soapland situations. <sighs> I never saw him interact with his other businesses, but he was always very kind to me. Well, I can he see told my sister that our dad should be dead because he's a burden. <laughs> Maybe he just wanted some extra cash. It's possible, but Nonomiya had dreams of his own, you know. No. He did. Adults don't have dreams. Yeah. Dreams are for children. He actually did want to go legitimate. 
That was his dream for a long time. I had to listen to him talk about it every time he had a few too many. He said he wanted to start up his own business. Create a sort of safety net for Ijincho. Uh, oh yeah, what? sorry. He was murdered by the Chinese Kume. Probably. One way or another, You'll have to convince me Ijincho he wasn't has become by a place for people who have nowhere else to go. So if the floor falls out from beneath a city like this, what would they have left? So, he always talked about how he wanted to create a safety net. One big enough to catch these people from falling away. Apparently, but instead he, had he died, and now they're all fucked. For Otohime land as well. well. Maybe he wasn't so bad after all. Yes, well, he also pushed his employees too hard, and he had his fingers in a lot of shady stuff. So, I could never tell if he was being honest or not. Thank you. Humans Looking are back, complex. Though, his he wasn't place was an the only one that took us in, and we had nowhere else to go. No, no, Mia-san was telling the truth. If you ask me. I think so too. I always believed in him. After all, he volunteered Girl, to take on the country. A I mean, your cousin shop. already did. I mean, there's plenty of other ways to make money in this town. Shout out to expensive healthcare. Mm. Anyway, I should get going. I'm so sorry to trouble all of you. Well, wait, what about your business? Oh, it's gonna fail now. I think Nonomiya-san dying is maybe the final nail. What? There's only so much someone like me can do in this position. If I can't find someone more competent to run things, I'll have no choice. Well, I'm too to stupid to run it, and he's dead, Besides, so... This business will fizzle out sooner or later if I'm left in charge. At least she guessed that she doesn't have a mind for business. I had no place here. If anyway. Trump was like her, we wouldn't be in this. Hey problem. now, is that what you really want? This place is important to you, isn't it? You'd really call it quits after everything your dad and Gramps did for it? Yeah, being a quitter is one of the reasons I'm bad at running a business. Well, that's tell you not that. what I want at all. I loved my dad and my grandpa, and I know they poured their hearts into the shop. So it's heartbreaking to close the doors. It really is. But Nonomiya-san's gone. And most of my employees left. They knew we were in the red. I don't have anyone else I can count on. No strategy. I'm completely alone. It's a mood. Have you considered I killing yourself? I'm just reaping what I've sown. It was my own fault for trusting those con artists <laughs> what was i thinking i'm so mad at myself finer points of taxes mary chan all right i got you huh oh no you don't have to worry about a thing just leave all this company stuff to me and the gang <sighs> really but I... Uh, are you sure? Yeah, you can count on it. Meeting here like this is too much of a coincidence. And the shop's even called Ichiban Confections. That's gotta be fate. Right, guys? What are you talking about? You don't know the first thing about running a business. Come on, we can't just leave it like this, can we? You just leave her hanging? Plus, what about Nonomiya-san's dream to become the city's safety net? This can be our way to carry on his torch. But don't get me wrong, I'm I'm all for it too. But this is actual management we're talking about. I know, but we owe Nonomias on our lives, right? He was the guy who took us in when no one else would. I want to help. He gave up everything to save us, and nobody's Drink for gonna anime pick speeches. his I actually thought about whatever he's doing do. some himbo Just shit, but I thought I would die. Him back. <sighs> Ichan. <laughs> oh, now it's Eek Chan. I've never heard anyone back. call him that. <laughs> Figures should say that. Well, we all know there's no change in his mind now. So give I it all my you bowl. got, Ichiban. Which also matches we'll my outfit. Thanks. Uh, wait. Oh my god, you guys. Is this too, my new street you? uniform? Good luck, Ichiban. If anyone can pick up a failing business and use it to save the city, that's you. Why would it be him? I believe people. in you, Ichan. In the last yeah, 30 but, minutes of the stream only. What about you guys? <laughs> we drink for him, motion. You, are you 
you really sure about this? This is, on, this is very uh, random uh, of yeah. you. Yeah. I'll go back on my work. I do random shit I'll all the fucking president, time, lady. Prime minister, whatever you need. Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, Kasuga-san. She gonna fuck me? Don't mention it. Are we Looking gonna kiss? to do in this, Sari chan Likewise. Okay then. If it's all right with you, why don't I show you around the company? Sure. You got this, Mr. President. Hail to the chief. President Kasaga! Come on, guys. <coughs> we stand in both speeches and also get shit faced during them. I love that you're sitting in your little bed talk. It makes me so happy. Watch this actually be a short cutscene. Look at it. It's all akimbo, but look at it. He's just laying in his little bed for once. Isn't he cute? Usually he's he likes to put his head on the bed like it's a pillow and then ignore everything else, but Well, this is it. This is the first floor, which is our so little sunbay shop. Okay, that's what I'm googling, Sunbay. Have you always been here? The shop has. But the company itself was headquartered in a much bigger building Star Troop. with a lot more What's employees up? before it was taken over. You guys didn't notice. But in the end, I got face masks the business to took a turn for the worse, and we ended up back here. The office is on the second floor. Please, follow me. Right behind you. <laughs> Cork punk. Sunmay. Senbei are a type of Japanese rice cracker. Oh, I've had... So if you've ever had, like, Nature Box, right? That little snacking service. They do rice crackers all the time. These things fucking slap. Like, it's a rice cracker. See the, like... That's, like, fluffy rice interior. Like a rice crispy but savory. Rice crackers fucking oh, slap. So Senbei's delicious. Office. You'll have to excuse the mess we've got going right now. Hey, eri -chan. Welcome back. Is this the guy you were texting me about? Yes. Kasuga-san will be helping with the company in the place of Nonomiya-san. Kasuga-san, this is my grandmother. She's the only family I have left. She helps out with the shop downstairs on days when she feels well enough. I'm Tomei Kamataki. Nice to meet you. Yeah, like Tomei-san, huh? I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you, too. Hmm. Older gentleman, unique hairdo. Yeah, my camera the doesn't field, obviously have the mask, so I can see my Quite face in the camera, but not in yourself, the preview. Eri -chan. Grandma, he's not my boyfriend. Milo took Tok's bed and listening? has crawled under it and moved it into the kitchen. <laughs> and is now trying to bat <sighs> at Tok from under Sorry the bed. Sorry about that, Kasuga-san. <laughs> it's cool. He's completely crawled under Tok's bed. And Tox's like, maybe I'll sit on it anyways. I haven't decided huh? yet. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> a chicken! That's Omelet, our company pet. Its name is well, Omelet! I guess she's more like the company mascot. She's a good girl, though. That looks like the boy chicken. It's In got fact, the, the company uses her face eggs. balls. Uh, oh. Right, right I thought on. boy chickens had the face balls. Nice to meet you, Omelet. That's why I think of them as face balls. <laughs> Tax evasion chicken! Okay. Perhaps this would be a good time to go over the basics of management. This is gonna be quite a tutorial, so just let me know when you have the time. Tutorial, that's a JRPG sure reference thing. in real life drink. You guys. Milo is under it. See it moving? See, when Zyger ca or when Tok catches me, he stops. But look at Milo's under the bed and he's trying to like sneak attack Tok from under Tok's bed because he's he's sneaky. Look at it. Oh, Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't realize that Tok's gotten distracted and wandered off. He thinks Tok's still waiting for it's so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right? Chicken face balls. I don't know what they are. 
but... See, Milo instigates a lot. I always worry because Toc's so much bigger than Milo. I'm like, is Toc beating Milo up or what? And no, this is Milo instigating like a motherfucker. I think Milo has jumped into his own box now, which he has moved to the kitchen. See how both of them are in the kitchen now? Milo just loves to move everything around. Yeah, Milo's back in his box and has abandoned Toc's bed after dragging it all the way to the kitchen. He's a good, sweet boy. Look at him. Look at his fluffy little buddy. So sweet. I love you. I love you, baby. Yes, you. The talk. He's so good and sweet. Yes, yes. I will give you a treat. I will give you a treat. You going to come here? Come up. He won't come up. He'll eat his treat and then he'll scamper off, so you'll see him. Oh, maybe you'll just see his little fluff butt. You got it. You ate it. That was the treat. Yeah, that was it. You ate it. You're so sweet and cute. I love you. Oh, he's yawning and he's sleepy. Yeah, he's a good baby, and Milo is a menace to society. There he goes. There he goes. He's a good baby. He's a good baby. We love him. I just love him so much. I just like to look at him. Look at it. He looks so funny when he's standing on his tiny little legs because he's so fluffy. And he's got a fluffy butt. Look at him. He's so cute. I love him. Okay. I'm going to put him away, but I'm so happy. Look at him. Okay. Ah. <sighs> The the heart emoji scared me, and I thought something was flying around my head, and I got scared because I thought maybe it was a bug. Oh man, Earl got pizza. I do have this McDonald's cheeseburger that has been sitting on my desk since 3 a.m. last night. Oh, maybe like 2 a.m. last night. When did I get McDonald's? Twelve. Midnight. This cheeseburger has been sitting on my desk since midnight. He's back. You see him? Milo. Milo. You're not a Milo dog. Milo's Milo. See, he comes when I call. Did you see? As soon as you call him, he comes. He's a good kitty. He's a good kitty. Hey, Milo. I gave my little little kitty treat because he came when I called him. He comes every time I call him. He really does. Like, ask Tiger. Whenever he, he's lost and we can't find him, if you just start calling his name, eventually he'll slither out from wherever he's, he's hit himself. He just comes waltzing down the hallway from God knows where. Because he comes when you call him. He's a good boy. He wakes up and he comes. He's a good baby. No, I haven't tried calling out other names because I'm afraid he'd come for them too. Yeah, I put talk because talk had a little kennel that I thought would be big enough for him, and it ended up not being big enough for him. And so I got him a new giant kennel that is his size, and so I, the small kennel fits perfectly in my closet. And so I put it in there, and it's like a spot that talk can't reach that Milo can go to when he wants to like not be harassed.
Again, I just tried to use the R stick and then I was like, no. This is a tutorial. I'm ready to start your training whenever you are. This time she said training, what do you think? which is a normal human word, but before she said tutorial, which is why we drink. Yeah, let's do it. All right then. Here we go. Look at this fucking chicken. You know how many Otome games have a random chicken to spice things up? Like one of the guys has a chicken pet, like the quirky one. Oh, that's my Silky. He he runs around the office. I'm a school nurse. Look at how adorable and 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 weird I am. That's why I'm 32 in single in Japan, even though I'm super hot. Like, yeah. I don't think we have enough drinking. I think that we have a lot of good specific drinking rules, but long term, I don't think it's needed. So this is what I haven't played it, but from what I saw of Zyker and what really has my heart fucking racing. You see this tumor on my face? I've been afraid to go to the doctor since it started appearing in August. And it hasn't gone away. And it's just a large bump. And sometimes it hurts. And I'm afraid to go to the doctor still because COVID's even worse than it was when I was afraid to go to the doctor in August. So I'm gonna die. Yeah, I don't, I don't get the Maccas thing. I don't like the Maccas. It's not McDonald's. If it was Mika's, I'd be like, that's cute. But it's Mika's, and it's not fucking McDonald's. It's McDonald's. Those are two different things. This is a business management simulation in which Kasuga takes on the role of company president in order to bring Ichiban Confection straight to the top. If you want to become the best company in Yokohama, you'll have to reach the number one spot in the share price ranking. Management is played out in two phases, day-to-day -day business and shareholder meetings. Kasuga will run the business a total of four times, then give a financial report at the shareholder meeting at the end of each period. In keeping with good business practices, Kasuga cannot use company funds as his personal piggy bank, nor can he use any of his personal funds to fund the company. Ah, oh, but I have money. It's because of the Big Mac? Whoa! Star Troop. Big if true. Okay, actually, hmm. I've decided that if it's because of the Big Mac, Mac is, is a fine name. Yeah, Star Troop. That's good. You like you just covered for the entire continent of Australia, not even the country. I'm just over here chugging wine, making shit up. Like, Star when I say you stopped me in my tracks and blew my fucking mind, I'm not kidding. I was like, oh wait a minute. Um. Got some slaining to do. First of all, how much wine have you had? down a glass a real generous glass it's only half a bottle um i'm really sad because kasu cannot use company funds as his personal piggy bank which i thought this company was gonna make me rich nor can he use any of his personal funds to fund the company and i've been stocking money in the atm to thinking i'd be slick and have a lot of money to start my company and while also i'm a little sad because Zyger said that this is what he was talking about. Zyger said that this part he thought started at the beginning of the next chapter. And it starts now. So I'm excited. But when I thought it started at the end of next chapter, I remember Zyger like getting this and having like 200,000 yen. And me being like, oh, okay. Like that's not a lot of money in terms of how much money you're going to get for this business management thing. But that's like a, like a cute like nest egg. Um, I got to stockpile money away. So I've been stockpiling money. And I hit 220,000 yen yesterday. And I thought I had a whole chapter of raising money still. And so I was like, man, I have as much money as Zyger did when he got to 
the management sim and it turns out that that's because i just got to the management sim so like i feel less impressed with myself than i did yesterday i thought i was doing a good job getting extra money but it turns out i've gotten basically what seems to be the amount of money they expect you to have when you get to this part of the game because zyger and i are both coming here with about 200k in the atm um Yeah. So that's true. Hmm. I keep trying to hit A to go to the next page and wondering why it's not. But then I see the one of one and I just need to hit zero then. Okay. So this is the thing that I'm really hoping is going to be like the Star Ocean Inventor's Guild. Has anybody here played Star Ocean 3? Do you guys know what the Inventor's Guild system is like? I know I've talked about it, but I was curious if anyone's had like hands on experience. Um, because it looks, this looks a lot like it. So. I've explained it on the channel before, so like I've explained it and um, from to the end of time, exactly. And when I saw this, it reminded me of it. So right now, it's just like, wow, you suck. You're the worst. You you uh, you're losing 165k a year or a quarter. Um, you have over 60k in surplus labor costs because you're not making any money, so you don't need to pay any people. We have no debts though, which is great. Um, I'm just gonna drink 100. So right now we're gonna lose another 225k because we suck. So a quick Google search says that Maka is an Australian nickname for anyone whose surname, sorry, surname, S I R, space name, looks funny. I can't tell if that's a joke or an autocorrect or if I'm about to teach you that the word surname exists. But either way, I'm pleased. Um, the direction of McDonald's basically ruined that nickname and no one uses it as the McNickname anymore and it's just used to describe McDonald's now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because Australians like to make nicknames based off your last name a lot. I have noticed. I have noticed that. So, I remember Zarga being like, I don't know, I've been doing it before and I we just got a really job much to money. Do. And that's just what we're going to do. So this is just letting it, this is just what we're at right now. Where we're at right now is we suck and we hemorrhage money and we're garbage and we've never been good. The employees are very motivated though. Open for business. Oh, we got some sales. Oh, we're making some sales. Traffic cuts the No! Lucky. Lucky. Oh shit! The staff is running over! Wait, I'm making a bazillion dollars! Oh, we started in hella in debt though. Like, I'm making a lot in sales, but we're still gonna be in debt. I forgot. I'm like, 148, 149, we're still 200k in debt. We are still 200k in debt. Property maintenance expenses, 100k. Labor costs, 270k. Um. Now we only have 227,000 bucks to play with. Oh, uh, we're kind of bleeding money here. Yeah, we got a grandma, a grandpa, and a young guy that I don't trust. Because he's the Japanese equivalent of a white man. There's a tanking. Our share price drop. You're a whore. Current share price. 2400 yen. 150. It dropped. Oh no! We're a sweatshop. Oh no! You have to be a top 200 company to even qualify as a sweatshop. Various mixers is doing a lot in that. A lot of terrifying stuff in that sentence. Like, how various? How many? What's going on? <laughs> Scare me the first time this whole game mechanic. Want to see my CD collection? <laughs> I'll never get tired of saying that. And that's about okay, all there is fine. to managing So the first time we hang out, I'm gonna I'm gonna so? make you a cocktail. Not too hard, is it? Yeah, not so bad. Uh, yo, wait up! You're acting like this is in the back, but we're flat broke, broke as hell. Uh. You didn't have to put it like that. 
Right now, all we have on staff is a bunch of deadbeats. And don't even get me started on the furniture and equipment. Of course we're in the red. So what can we do? We'll have to invest. Uh, we need to advertise, hire competent staff, get new equipment, maybe some new furniture while we're at it. And we're gonna pay for all that how? Uh, good question. Then what the hell do we do? That's where you come in. Seriously? What kind of mess did I get myself into? All right, well, first off, let's think about how we'll get the money to cover the infrastructure and new hires. I don't know if anyone would be willing to invest in us. I suppose we'll have to take out another loan? Uh, and after Nonomiya-san just repaid the last one, too. Would you know anybody? Who's someone with money? Or a rich I got friend. this rich friend, or his name is Yokohama. Childhood who grew up to be an oil baron. What's uh, the cop's Yakuza? fake name that he told his uh, have... pen pal? Oh Yokohama? Wasn't that it? What is it? No, he wouldn't. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought that was really funny. Thank you. <laughs> Yamada, 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 Yamada. I got Nick. this guy, Yamada. I want to do this. <laughs> for both the company and no, no, me. I'm his secretary. So I just need a little bit of. Financing, I think it's called. I think it's Please, called. Man. Daddy Long Legs. Still Daddy out. Long Legs. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> Nick Ogata! <laughs> you okay there, he Nick? He's crying. Excellent! Your kindness and consideration for others is truly moving. Come be impressed. This is the Tell last rich person we eat. Consider it done. He taught us how to smartphone! I'm thrilled to invest in your company. Really? Man, thanks, Nick. That said, I'm no novice when it comes That's to that. That's said, I am actually a real I business person. I can't throw money at you like it's nothing. If you want the funds, you have to meet my three conditions. The conditions? Indeed. If you can agree to them, consider the investment yours. Seriously? Okay, yeah, man, whatever it takes. So, what are these whatever conditions? Whatever it takes. First condition, the company must never be in the red. Now, I don't oh, okay, want that's to realistic. Next to company funds. And that includes the starting capital I'm about to give you. Okay, well, if I'm a 225 do, in the hole right now. So. To counter this, on my end. this is by no means free money, and I am Oh, not no, I have 225 so pay in the bank. Yeah, to that's fine. Funds. Very well. Second condition. I want the company's share price ranking to be within Yokohama's <coughs> top 100 by the specified deadline. Share What's what? the specified no. deadline? Ranking. It's what measures the company's value. If the share price goes up, so does the ranking. And I want your company to be in the top 100. Knowing you and your company's potential, it should be a piece of cake. So the deadline is simply there to keep you motivated. I'll contact you later regarding the deadline. Condition two, should you find? Yeah, yeah. whatever, literally whatever. What's condition three? The last condition. And you can take all I'm the time you need with this one. I want you to become the number one company in the share price ranking. Oh, okay. Best of the best, huh? I want that little confectionery of yours to be the crown jewel of Yokohama. In other words, get out there and get to the top. I'm not willing to invest my money into anyone who can't. Usually there's a condition. side where, like, you can't see the oh. meat because it's a little well, off. Please. But in this one, you can't. You got yourself a deal. I don't know if there's anything but cheese I don't in here. Understand it, but I don't I'm know where do to my start. Best. I'll see you too at that I like to end with the bready bite, so I start with the Yoko meaty bite, but I can't find the meat. Then we're Where's on the, the beef? Page. Okay. With that, I'll go get the first portion of the investment ready for you. You're free to use the money for whatever you like, be that improving infrastructure or personnel logistics and training. Awesome. Thanks a bunch, Nick. No need to thank me. I'm expecting some kind of return once your company is good. I'm literally and expecting you to be like a really, really, really lucrative company. Well, adios. Love you, Nick. Hey, my rich friend, give us a bunch of money. Just look at all this money. Wow, boyfriend, you actually. I saw did candy it. and candy accessories. I'd be all over you if I was younger. <laughs> Gee, that thanks, was my lady. best tank hell. There you go. I'll take that as a compliment. This is amazing. So Thank you, Kasuga-san. Propane accessories. Save your thanks for Nick Ogata. Besides, it's not like this came with no strings attached. There are conditions. 
No dropping into the red, be in the top 100 share price ranking by the specified deadline, and specified ultimately deadline. take the top rank in share price. These are his conditions? Yeah. <coughs> I'm not about to disappoint them. All three are insane. No, no anything top would ever have their conditions. Hmm. That's gonna be tough. So we'll have to make sure we do our very best. Love you, old lady. Well, let's start by using this money to get this company back on its feet again. Kasuga-san, just let me know when you're ready to begin. You got it. Within, so this is the thing. This is what I was also confused about, Spare Girl. So it's not calendar dates. I immediately went to, like, Persona. This is not calendar dates. So that thing that we did with, like, the running red bar, that was a shareholder meeting. Those happen at the end of every business period. So we have basically five rounds of like putting everything in place and then like seeing how much money we made for the quarter. And like, even though a quarter should be like, you know, like three months or whatever, that's just time and Yakuza works how it needs to. So in the business management, years can go by. You know, this is a year, this basically begins a year and three months to become the top 100 share price, but it's five rounds of doing business. So it's not like timed, like, oh, if I keep going on with the story quest too fast, I'll lose by default. The, they live in separate dimensions. This kind of shit does not bother me at all. I don't know if some people are like, oh, it's just a bunch of um, I think it's kind of fun, the weird, like, whatever, it's been six weeks, whatever, it's been 20 minutes. I don't give a fuck. Whatever it needs to be is how it is. And in the anime of Yakuza, if like, you know, the, Hobo storyline will carry out throughout like eight episodes, but here we just do them all one at a time. Like, you know, I I'm capable of thinking of things like that. So that's how I think about this. Like, if I knock out all five of these periods back to back to back to back to back, in the anime, this would just be a thing going on in the background throughout the course of like the year and a half the game would then take place through. You know, whatever. Whatever. Okay. So look at this chicken! I think it's about time we put Nixon's money to use and start rebuilding this company. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Then without further ado, let's begin. Yeah, Mr. Yo no MBD. Um, I got out of prison um, an unspecified amount of time ago. Uh, I think I have an eighth grade education. Does not matter. I'm a fucking CEO now. It's called pulling yourself by the bootstraps and having rich old men teach you how to use their cell phone. Kakistan, I think it'd be wise to maximize Nixon's investment by reviewing the current state of the company. Let's start by checking on Ichiban Confections. It's named after me, you guys. It's named after me. I'm like the Doug Bowser of chocolate. Go to properties to check the details of your properties. <laughs> Let's say go to properties to check the details of your property's properties. And I like that. Now, properties allows you to buy or sell properties, as well as improve those you own. Right now, I feel like we should focus on, on assigning our employees. As it turns out, I'm not too sure about what will work best for us. I cannot make it any clearer. I don't know how to run a business well. I'll leave a review of the assignment, please. To you. Okay, so here's where we go. Party mason spends 100k. You can't sell it. It's our only property. Each property has ability requirements that affect profit. If your product, services, and reputation are not up to par, you may face difficulties in your business, like diminishing sales and unforeseen issues. Make sure to stay above the product, services, and reputation requirements by switching around your assigned employees. So, like, see how there's the three lines, product, service, and notability in the far left? And there's, like, you know, there's a bar and product is meeting it right now, but service and notability aren't. That's why we're not meeting our sales targets and why we're hemorrhaging fucking money. Yeah. So, this is level five. Oh. But he's actually worse than this level one. Look at how much tenacity this motherfucking chicken has. 
obviously. Oh shit, okay, so these two both only cost me 30k. That guy who was not even as good as this 90k guy was costing me how fucking much? He was pulling in 150k. Oh hell no, where's my other old lady at? She's also 30k. Oh, all the cheap ones kind of suck though. That gets our product. Oh, that's our right here. Ooh. Why does that make. Oh, I think we're gonna get somewhere. I'm keeping the chicken. I just really would like the chicken. Oh! Boom! Okay, so yeah, so basically this is what it reminds me of. Um, in Star Ocean, you'll be like, instead of having like these three things, you need to like hit the line, it'll be like, okay, these people are gonna be trying to cook. So look at all your party people and see like between them how you can get the most like cooking skills. Um, combined and like whoever the leader was mattered. Oh, I didn't do any of this. I'm not pressing any of these buttons. Um, and so then they would like work through like, you know, it would cost money for them to work. And the more they work, the more chances of them creating something rare and cool. Oh man, sorry, shoot. My, 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 my little pillow just slides down up my butt. You can always tell it cause like, oh. Yeah, I know, the young person and the old guy, very expensive, so. Each of my confections clearly has five employees, but to be honest, the wages are paying out are one of the biggest detriments for our profits. This does sound terrible, but laying off to the employees might be necessary to get us back on track. Oh. Well, there's only two employees, not as much as a thingy, so. Newly graduated businessman who's found himself a part of each one confections. He's been tasked with handling sales despite his disdain for speaking with others. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna lay you off. Thanks. A senbei maker of 10 or so years, though he's overly prideful about his senbei, he often spends his time playing mahjong. Oh, okay. Wow, that's also so expensive. Yeah. Oop, I meant confirm. Oh god! The wages employees who are not assigned to property are paid in the form of surplus labor costs, which are deducted from sales. Try to avoid risking your business by laying off. Try to avoid risking your business by laying off these employees when conditions are not satisfactory. Great, we should start seeing some improvements from here on. All that's left now is to see where the dice fall. So this will be like one of the. So we have five chances. This is our like first of five to like move it to the top 100. You can also strengthen properties from the manage properties menu. How you handle that is up to you, Kasuke son. Okay, Kasuya-san, if you're all set, then let's get down to business. I mean, how much does it cost to upgrade? I really do need to invest in service. That's my lowest thing. Okay, so what if I do this? Like, I got money, might as well spend it before I do. I only got five chances of this, you know what I mean? And now we'll meet these targets. Wait. Oh, okay, I got real scared. Ah! Oh, I mean, I have four million, that's so much. Okay, now service is at a place where I like it. We might as well get one in here. Right? I'm like, oh, Jishin, what's up? I'm contemplating just spending all of my money leveling this up like hella. But I think that might be a mistake. Yeah, because I just dropped like a million and it's only going to make me like 140k, so. We got a job to do. That's a long, long road. Oh man, I should have gotten my profit above 150k. Let's make a dent. 
I got a chicken and two grandmas. This is the best business. Time service is on point. That chicken showed a little bit of hustle. Oh god, we're so close. We're so close. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh shit, how far is he gonna go? We're making a profit, y'all! And that chicken is slaying the game. Still make it rain. Profit! Here's how the business did. Yay! These are incredible results. But I gotta pay back like what five five million yen. Um, I put a chicken and two grandmas in charge of a bakery. How could I not make money? That's the real question. Okay, we spent one mil but got 300k back instantly. Yeah, but that's not a lot. Nice. You guys did great out there. Oh look, my chicken leveled up. No oh, man, my chicken was going up. Going up. up. That's what I meant to say. Oh, my share price only went up a little bit. Damn. You gotta spend money to make money, but making it takes a long time. That's the good shit. Our ranking went up. Our ranking went up one. <laughs> it went up one. <laughs> What do you just made me concept? Construct. I have to justify myself. So, the girl, honestly, we do got this. Guess what? All debt. Credit card debt. Mortgage debt. Student loan debt. All debt's canceled. Debt's made up. All the bank accounts are getting set back to zero. Any any negative oh, yeah. bank account is getting set back to zero. Amazing, we did it. That's just and the way it all is. All thanks to Nixon's investment. Having I just remembered I haven't paid my life bill. And it it probably is. Yeah. It just goes to show the importance of where you put your money. Right, to invest in people or infrastructure. Look at this there chicken. There are so many ways to do this right here and now, but we should also consider how the money can be used in the future. Money for the future. I guess it all boils down to making the right choice at the right time. Yeah. And there's more to this than I thought. Man, yeah, being a CEO is right hard. Seeing as we made a profit this time, Ichiban Confections is finally making a comeback. Those are for suckers. Let's continue working our way into the top 100 Kasuga san. Uh, President Kasuga. You know it. Fucking love this chicken. Gawk! Yes! Yes! Fuck! Oh my god, that chicken is gonna be aggro as fuck. I don't think that one's a support chicken. I refuse to live in a world without a support chicken. I just realized I don't think I can see my pound mates anywhere. <gasps> can I just get a picture with my chicken? Where's my chicken? Okay. Hold on. Me and this chicken just vibing. That's weird. Hold it with your other hand, fam. Okay, there we go. There we go. Me and this chicken. Chicken, hey chicken, hey come here chicken. Oh, that's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh, he looked. Fuck. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Hey chicken. Chicken. Yeah. Oh fuck. Did I get him? Oh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I think I got him. I think I got him. Hold on. I think I caught him peeking. Oh, I think that counts. I need to be able to zoom. I like the Sega in the background. This is the most important photograph. Look at him. Ah, oh, this one's blurry. That's my bad. Why are these blurry? You can take blurry photos? The fuck is Sega logos blurry? Oh, there it goes. Look at it. 
can't believe these are loading blurry. There we go. Look at she's so cute. Me and my girl. <laughs> He's got a little peaky tongue. Oh, this is just stupid because I didn't realize that you could do little, little faces. We're piggies! Look at it! We're both little piggies. He thought he could hide, but I got him. <laughs> That's my Kappa. Um, this seems amazing. Maybe you're confused about how good this game is. The answer is very... This chapter is called The Liu Mang Man, and I've met a chicken. I've done so much stuff. Thank you. I should take more pictures, though. Hello, chicken. You are the you are in charge when I'm gone. If anybody asks who's in charge, I want I want it to be clear. I want it to be on the record so everyone can hear me nice and loud. Omelet, you are in charge. Yeah, that's right. Fucking love you. I do have style for taking a lot of pictures. I know you meant like in game get points for it, but no. <sighs> Hell of a day. Uh, and we've got our gig at the Yokohama Trading Company tomorrow. Oh, Again. yeah, we're still doing that? Guess we should just head back and hit the hay. Yeah, it's not healthy to stay up too late. Who are you, the sleep police? I'll go to bed when I'm ready. Come on, we're buddies now. So trust me, you need your beauty sleep. She doesn't have a thing for me, does she? You ever notice how she only picks on me? No. Maybe that's what she does to men she's secretly attracted to. I'm gonna throw up Not in my a mouth. chance in hell, old boy. Hey, how about I make dinner for everyone? Wait, really? Wow. You can cook? Like a chef. I'll just go buy some ingredients. Nanchan, come with me and carry the bags. Nanchan? Here we go. She sure seems happy about falling in with us, but... She's our buddy, we said! I wonder if it's really the best thing for her, you know? Yeah. I guess it is a dangerous bridge she's crossing with us. But it's what she wants. Just because she's having a little fun with it doesn't mean she ain't committed. Thank you. Shouldn't we respect that? Yeah, yes. You're right. Okay, be back in two shakes. Like, of all of the people to go to as, like, a bodyguard type, Nansen is not the one. Also, for spite the software that you see above me, this is a cool thingy that monitors how close you are to me getting a new processor because my PC's processor is getting old and clunky and it's not streaming so good sometimes. And so any bits or donations directly or subs automatically deduct from the little health brand. Look, we already have, like, a really good chunk. Look at it. The pink. That's its fleshy insides. I already have a big chunk of it. Look, it's peeking. Love scenes written for neckbeards. What's up? Okay, she she. Next. Hey, she said she didn't speak Chinese. Let's She's see. a liar. One million yuan. Just a minute. I don't know how 
much that is. No, there's not enough. Excuse me, boss. What is it? There isn't enough money in the safe. Huh? I'm telling you. Oh, well, we have had a lot of shipments lately. Oh, no. This is about to become a lot later. I'll drink this. Boy, this is not the same thing as the first one. The price of the price will be so cheap, just because we said to pay for it. If we don't have money, we have to pay for it. We have to pay for it. Did you know that the price of the price is going to be higher? Yes, it is. It is going to be higher than the price of the price. It is going to be higher than the price of the price. I just said that. Just like 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 that. Wait right here. Are you getting all wet playing yes, with sir. your kitty? What the? That wooden box. What the heck? This is just paper. Do they use paper in Chinese food? In the paper food? that looks just like money. That'd be weird. Oh, um, it's not here yet. For cooking, you know, cooking paper. It's my cooking paper. We have to go make more. What? Counterfeit bills? Scream that a little bit louder, sweetheart. Go ahead and yell that, Ryuji style. Just, just right in front of the dude. Especially the dude he's handing the money to. If you could just, if you could just shout your loudest. Really appreciate it. Oh, you're a good, sweet baby. You're so good and sweet. Everyone loves you. They do, they do. It's like they can all see your butt. Now you can see his whole butt. <gasps> Top Sugar says you get a treat. Do you want a treat? You can have a treat. Some steak. Yeah, those have got to be fake. Unbelievable. He gets a treat. I mean, it's fucking weird, right? Where'd all that extra money come from? Oh, could I have from? another Jamaican? He did have to happy. go to the bank. No, he went to the second floor. Never set foot outside. I saw him, and when he came back down, he was carrying the case of money. Could be they've got a safe up there. Who knows how much would be in it. But then why not move a sufficient amount from there to here? Why did I come up short? Well, there's always the explanation that someone was just lazy. If all he needed to do <coughs> was go up to another safe, he wouldn't have asked for half an hour. Good point. Let me get this straight. When the vendor asked for payment, there wasn't enough cash. So then the boss got more money from somewhere in this building. And that's where the box comes in, remember? There was a box with paper in it, next to the uh, ones with shark fins and abalone and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, this Just home. I was like, me, I'm home all the time. Reams of paper. Before he paid the guy, the foreman took that paper up to the second floor. Wait, are you saying the paper is... It's what they use to print the fake money. They make that shit right there. You think they have that kind of printer? They gotta. What? And all the stuff they're importing, they just buy it with their fake ass money? I don't know. It's called money Seems laundering. Seems like a damn foolish Street plan. Heart. The word you're looking for but is it's money possible. laundering. They do make all their payments up front with cash. That's really unusual in this day and age, especially with the sales volume they have. Another good point. There has to be some reason why they would refuse to use a bank. And I think their big profits tell the same story. Me too. Well, maybe it sounds believable to you two, but not to me. That's because but you're a cop, right so you're always dumb and wrong. The reason they pay in cash is to use their fake money. Can't do that with a bank. That would also explain why they're able to sell at cost. The profits would be crazy doing it this way. I mean, after all, they're essentially getting their product for free. Plus, the seller takes the fake bills to China. 
where they won't be traced back to Japan. That's bold, but in a way, airtight. Mabuchi's a sharp guy. Maybe his primary goal is to hide where the oh. money comes from. I'm what eating a day old money cheeseburger. Money laundering? When I was in prison, like I heard McDonald's some guys in my room talking. They said foreign currency is easier to fake than yen. But the problem was, you have no way of turning that fake money into yen. If you take it to the bank, they'll know it's fake right away. Maybe that's why Mabuchi is laundering the shit with a cash-only trading company. The products are just a front for the money laundering. Sounds like we have a lead on Mabuchi's fraudulent scheme. Let's use this to threaten him. We've got leverage now. Wait, what? this is all just speculation so far. We'll get murdered! We need to find solid proof that he's counterfeiting money. Proof that will really force his hand. What if we snuck up to the second floor and took a picture of the money printer? No way would it be that easy. If they have a printer up there, security on that floor will be tight as hell. And if we get caught, it won't just be a slap on the wrist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's not do anything super dangerous. Let's off your wrist. We only need to sneak out one Let fake kill bill. kill you. Psycho, you already have access to the fake money. Uh, yeah, but didn't I tell you about the body check they do on me when I leave? Yeah, you have a now vagina, I though. See why. They're doing that to ensure I don't take any of the fakes. Okay, but they don't check us guys. We're just unloading crates. Could you slip us a bill while we're working? I could try. You have to be really careful. Of course. Nice. Tomorrow I can say goodbye to all this manual labor. I'm actually feeling kind of excited about this plan. Then I'll make us an exciting dinner tonight. <laughs> we'll all need our energy. Nanchan, we're going shopping again. Me again? I'm beat. No worries, I'll go. Oh, it's our turn to smash and pass. Ichiban, you used to be a Yakuza, right? Uh, yeah. Used to be. Your old life must have been a scary one. Was it hard on you? I guess so, but no, what counts as shit, scary is different for everyone, isn't it? And, you know, it changes over time and all that. Yeah. I understand. Which is almost one American dollar. Something. The old me would have no idea what to do in this situation. But the new me? It feels like she can do anything. She kind of is. Or at the very least, what used to scare her just doesn't anymore. Sounds okay, great. But you still gotta remember what actually is dangerous and be careful. You worry too Important. much. Come on, let's go. And then she gets hit <sighs> by a bus. <laughs> How dangerous across the street? It's the scariest thing you'll ever do. Love to have a party member in a Japanese RPG say you worry too much. That never ends with them dying. Man, that car fucked me up. And then the other one was almost my first death of the game. Can you imagine? I don't even know how much money I have on me, but I bet it's a decent amount. I'm always so rich. I can't keep the money off me. I mean, I was just leaving the ATM, but... My weed's so good, it makes my fingers sticky when I put it in the grinder. Sorry about it. Some, something about what I said made my dog think I was talking to him. No, I wasn't talking to you, babe. So when you get beat, I assume they take half your money. But if a car kills you... Do you pay the car? That's actually a really good point. Do you lose money from... Maybe that's just the trip to the hospital. Yeah. I think they have partially privatized healthcare. You know, I'm definitely not insured. It's killing me. You know, I don't know how insured... I don't know how insurance works in Japan to be. <laughs> I guess we're fighting then. I guess. Shit. Trying to pack a bowl. Let's go. I 
will give you infinite money to stop saying you're itchy. Ooh! Okay. We have a new thingy. And then I'm gonna stop by the bar, check out my little plant guy. It looks like it's just the one. Oh! There's another one all the way up here. Oh, there's two things all the way up here. This area is way too fucking scary, though. I don't think we're gonna be in there anytime soon. I'm like, sorry, but this is right here. And then we're gonna go to the bar. But then actually I did mean to do that. Yeah, the current plan is to steal a fake Chinese dollar. And then bring that to the crooked police. To charge the most powerful scary gang guy in the area that is owned by the police. Specifically the guy that pays for all their birthdays and shit. Great college, all of it. So I'm not really sure how that's going to work. Which is owned by the rights for girl. Yeah, so what we we haven't really... For a Yakuza, the cop myth is really strong with him. Like... pay for this shit? Hey cop, the, the criminal that paid for your son's college and your daughter's, you know, dance recitals and shit, uh, is introducing foreign money, like fake money into another country. Like, that's a job for almost like, you want to call the Chinese government at that point. You know what I mean? Get the motherfucker extradited. This is a shoyu flavor, a salt flavor, an Ichiban fried senpai. That looks senbei. I'll take that. That looks good. Um, I don't know. Imu Raya. Let's Google this. It's almost like he doesn't realize the Yakuza is a organization. And that crops can be crooked. Another thing that can be Um, emu, emu. <coughs> the first result that came up is emu raya uh, mochi, and the second one is emu raya confectionery, which is a company that used to be in California, but just closed now. That movie just like closed for the day. Um, Imuraya Confectionery is a Japanese confectionery company selling Azuki bean products. The brand has a product placement deal for the Yakuza games, and its products have been available to buy in convenience stores on recent titles. That really is just a brand name. So this is Yoko. I thought those were like flavors because I didn't recognize those other words either, but I thought the two that were the same were like the type of thing it was. So yokan is a thick jellied dessert made of red bean paste. And I don't know what Castella is. Oh, and Castella is a type of cake. 
See, these are like Costello is something they should have done for Great British Bake Off because Costello is a kind of wagashi originally developed in Japan based on the Nanban confectionery imported from Japan during the Zuchi Mamaya period. Um, it's a large, square, super fluffy sponge cake. It's raised solely by egg foam. There's no butter, oil, or leavening agents, and it uses bread flour. See, this Costello cake would have been a cool thing for Great British Bake Off to do, and mochi would have been a cool thing for Great British Bake Off to do. And instead they did make Chinese pork buns or whatever for, <laughs> and then, um, you know, make something cute. Just, you know, like whatever you think cute means. Um, oh, Juicy Pete's. Okay. Anyways, I can't believe that's a brand name. Okay, that's so cool. So my shop is carrying, like, we have a deal with, like, you know, I'm just saying, Ichiban. It does for you. Just the look on Ichiban's face when he realizes he's been the bad guy the whole time. <laughs> All Where am I going? How do I get? Oh, there's a teeny. This is a shitty place to have a sh like a business on. Cause look at this shitty little street I keep missing. Pardon me. I was trying real hard not to hit you. Yeah, what's happening here? My exact question. Sorry to disturb you during your recovery, honey Amazon. Can you tell us what happened out there? Honey Amazon, have you had any further contact with Anzai-san since the incident? No, none at all. Just an apology from a representative. Anzai-san insists the play was entirely his doing. He performed a dangerous slide despite the fact that he was in the clear already. How did you see things, Honey Amazon? That's not far off, but I don't believe he made that call on his own. <laughs> We understand that Anzai-san is an old friend of yours. What sort of player was he back then? More baseball! They say playing as number four next season's a fool's errand. What are your thoughts on that? There are even rumors Anzai-san will be leaving the Yokohama Shark Stars. Hey, reporters, how about you bugger the fuck hey, off? Hey, please, no pushing! Ah. <clears throat> ah. What the fuck? Hey, this shit's serious. You all right, man? Oh. Thanks. Honey Amazon, we still have some questions. Hey, aren't you gonna apologize for pushing him over? Yeah, I, I didn't. Assholes. This guy's injured, and you don't even think to say sorry? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. Sheesh. You guys are hopeless. <sighs> Thank you. Can you stand? Here, grab my shoulder. Thank you. Um, Kasuga-san, was it? I'm Hanayama. Might not look it right now, but I'm actually a baseball player. So, that leg? Not because of your friend Anzai? <laughs> Being an athlete's not all it's cracked up to be, huh? You could say that. This whole thing is really starting to make headlines. You haven't heard? Sorry. I tend to keep my distance from that stuff. From what the reporters were saying, Anzai acted on his own. I don't think so. He's not the type to do something like that. Pretty kind words about a guy who put you in a cast. We were in the same baseball club from elementary all the way through high school. His accuracy's always been perfect, so... No way this was an accident. But he cared about the team with all his heart. Was always a true sportsman on the field. He put the bond with his teammates above all else, even winning. I just can't believe this thing was all his idea. Even if that were true, he's still the one who made the play, right? You saying someone ordered him to do it? I'm thinking it was the Yokohama Shark Stars shifty manager. That's Anzai. I'm a Tigers team. fan, but whatever makes you happy. The manager? Girl. Why do you say that? Since the new manager stepped in, the Shark Stars have been locked in second place. That's not going to change anytime soon. Hell, people were saying the new manager would have to retire before the ink on his contract dried. Unless they got a win, of course. And if they could pull off winning the last game, they probably would have won the season. So the guy got impatient and ordered Anzai to take you out. I'm guessing there's some reason Anzai couldn't say no, right? That's what I'm thinking. But Anzai swears he did it on his own. 
Speaking of which, I'm surprised you're willing to hear me out. Anzai's basically public enemy number one right now. Even if he is your friend, nobody be willing to defend someone they knew was lying. I like you, Kasuga-san. You know what's up. It makes me think I could trust you with a favor. A favor? I'd like you to meet with Anzai and find out what really happened. With the shape I'm in, I can't exactly hop across town. Meet with Anzai? But if you can't even get to him, how can I? There's a place on Hamakaze Street he hangs around in. Usually in disguise. Probably yeah, I don't know much about uh, uh, Japanese baseball disguise? either. I just like the hunting you sure tigers. Want you sharing like, I'm well, sharing because you. you did me a solid. Um, because you don't just Osaka? believe whatever the mob And I, for some reason, I think Osaka is just, like, thing. really cute. Uh, look, so, I'll make it like, worth oh. your while if you help me out with this. I like the Tigers. I'm a Tigers fan. It's like, if you ask for my favorite soccer team, I'd say Liverpool, just because I like that city. Not because I know anything about um, football clubs in Europe. Does not have a favorite one. <laughs> like I'm going to say no after all that? Yeah, fine. I'll go ask him. Sports is all about picking uh, a favorite thanks, team for no side. reason and then uh, just here, becoming blood loyal to them. That's sports. His looks might have changed a bit, but this should help you find him. I'm counting on you, man. Off to Hamakaze Street. This suspicious man is suspicious. Uh, uh, All right, where the fuck are we going? Ha! Ah, ah, the sports quest. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this one seems a little. I already made an inside baseball joke yesterday, but it seems a little boring. Starts with an H. Fukuoka. Oh, here it is. Hamakaze Street. And instead of going directly there, I'm going to go up the bar to do it. Sorry, maybe I wouldn't have to push you all if you all just stayed out of my fucking way. Have you thought about that? No, because you only think about yourself. No, I'm just watching these guys to death. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you show it. So to be fair, my thought process with sports is you are a fan of your home of your local team, of your hometown team. The only exception to that is if your family like moves and so like your family is like a, a big fucking like Steelers family because your family used to be in Pennsylvania, but when you were two, your family moved you to Minnesota, you're still allowed to be a Steelers fan. You know, I knew a guy in high school who wore University of Florida merch every day, like shorts, shirt, long sleeves, everything. University of Florida in the suburbs of Chicago. Um, huge Gators fan because his mother went to the University of Florida. And so I was like, you're allowed to be a Florida fan. Your mom went to that school. She's a huge Gators fan. You're a huge Gators fan. Like, that's allowed. But what you're not allowed to do is be like, hmm, I live in New York and I'm going to be a fucking, like, Panthers fan. You know, like, it's just, it's not allowed. Zyger is 100% a bandwagoner and he doesn't give a shit about sports and he's lame. Um, but yeah, like, I don't like it when it's like, oh, well, I love, uh, Las Vegas, so even though I don't live there, I don't have any family there, and I've maybe been there once, um, I'm a really big fan of Las Vegas Golden Knights, and it's like, okay, no, that's just a brand new team, and so they're shiny and new, and you like them, like, that's the lame, don't be lame, um, uh, yeah, so you know, you have to have either hometown loyalty, like me, I, right now, I have hometown loyalty to Chicago sports, I will always be, you know, Cubs, Bears, Hawks, Bulls, but I've been in Seattle five years. So like the Krakens just formed. And like if the Krakens and Blackhawks play each other, I will always root for the Blackhawks. But I will go to Krakens games and root for the Krakens and I'll totally buy Krakens merch. It looks adorable. You guys can get me Krakens merch. I don't mind at all. Um, even though I'm a Blackhawks fan because that's where my hometown loyalty lies. And like I beat that in that like, I will never be a Seattle Mariners fan. I will always be a Cubs fan. You know, like that is acceptable. 
But just being like, if I moved, if I was born and raised in Washington State, and I was like, oh, I'm going to be a Cubs fan. It's like, no, you're a motherfucking Mariners fan, and just deal with it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to be a Mariners fan. You were born in Washington. Like, that's just how it is. There's nothing worse than people, like, growing up in the Chicago suburbs and going to school with people who were Wisconsin fans. Like, Green Bay Packers fans. My friend Akeem is such a hardcore Green Bay Packers fan. He lives in Arizona now, too. And uh, he always posts, like, Green Bay shit. And I'm always like, you motherfucker. You are not from Wisconsin. But, like, somebody close, like, an adult close to him growing up was a Green Bay fan or something like that. Like, that's how it happened. Um, but I'm still like, no, fuck you. You're a Bears fan. This is morally wrong. You need to stop. No. That's my soapbox. Yeah, so if you live in a state like Idaho that doesn't have any sports, that's where you get a little bit more flexible. Because Idaho, it's like, okay, do you want to be like a Portland Trailblazers fan? Do you want to be like like NorCal? Do you want to like, you, you can kind of you know, go up into Washington, like, you know, Maine at gets like you know all the new england and massachusetts stuff is like for all of those little states you know what i mean so like sometimes if you live in west virginia you can pick like am i this or that yeah um iowa what fan are you like you are going north south west you don't have shit but like there are people around you right like the seahawks to me are like washington montana idaho oregon Right, I'm 10 minutes from Buffalo. See, exactly. Imagine growing up in Buffalo and being like, oh, I'm gonna be like a punk rock sports fan and I'm not gonna be a Buffalo fan. I'm gonna write, root for all of the NYC teams or some shit. Oh, me, I, I like fucking the Jets and the fucking New York Rangers. Can you imagine? No, it's just, it's required by law. Yeah, and that's hard. The, I kept having to Google the Washington football team. Because I was like, that's not Washington State, right? I don't want to move to the racist football team state. This was like 2015 I moved here. So I was like, dude, are there two? And everybody only talks about the Seattle Seahawks because the other one is both shitty. Is all three shitty, ugly colors and racist? Like, first fight's from New York City. So he has things like the Yankees and all of the, like, bully, shitty sports teams. The Mets are, like, the one thing. Like, the Mets and the Knicks. If you live in New York and you're a Mets and a Knicks fan, we can fuck around. But if you're like, oh, yeah, you know what? I love the Yankees. I root for the bad guy in every high school movie. Right? Like, how? how is... I, I fucking... I, I don't get how you could be a Yankees fan. I don't get how you could be... Like, I, I don't understand how it's fun. I don't know how you can be a, a New York uh, SF Shock fan. I don't get how that's fun. Oh, all they do is win all the time and they're kind of cocky douchebags about it. It's like being an Anderson Silva fan. It's just like, oh, okay, you like like kind of cocky douchebags. They're like, yeah, they're good, but like that doesn't, it's not really fun. No, sports are supposed to be like, there's always next year and on the edge of your seat and will we make the playoffs? I hope we make the playoffs. And like, that's the, no, versus five. You fucks with the Yankees because you're in New Yorkers. You suck. All my friends are from New York now, and I think that's so funny because I grew up like I grew up from Chicago, so we were always like second city. So I was always like, "Wow, New York can suck the fattest part of my dick." I hate New York, and I've always had a huge like "fuck New York" attitude. That's why I've never been there. Like I don't even New York. Like Chicago, but like full of more garbage and colder in the winter. No, thank you. Oh, and more expensive and scarier. Oh, okay, fun, cool. This is really sounding inviting. I've read the Tri-State area where it was the first Yankees game. Ugh. My grandfather took me to a White Sox game when I was an infant because he's a White Sox fan. Everyone else in my family is a Cubs fan. And I feel so dirty thinking about the fact that I was even at a White Sox game. Ugh. Fucking hate, like, there's just rivalries. Like, you have to have sports rivalries. You have to just have, like, a weird, like, I am on, that's how you, if you have really strong sports rivalries, you don't have to turn politics and things like that into sports. Like, you have your outlet. Like, Ben Shapiro needs to pay more attention to fucking fantasy football and he wouldn't be in this mess. 
You just you have to get that like because it's human nature to us versus them things. And so if you can like channel that energy into like a really harmless thing, like sports teams, um, that's when it's fine. It's fine. Like you know, like get that energy out. Just burn it off. I know that's not based on any science, but I'm just saying, it should be how it works. I wanted to check something. Oh, I remember what it is. I remember what it is. I am going to save my game books. I'm super smart. Okay. I was going to check something. Here. Okay, he's still way off. And I can't do him, and he's maxed. And... He's level nine. It's taking him so long to get to level ten. Um, he's just gonna live here for a while, and I have to get her to level twenty, and she's level eighteen. So yeah, waiting on Nanba. Yeah. See, Sky Sports. That is a good time, though. I do love going to baseball games. Like, I used to only go to Cubs games at Wrigley Field. And I've been to other parks now, and I gotta say, Wrigley just is really good. It's just the best park. Um, but yeah, I, there's something about being at a just a baseball stadium that hits different than anything else. So I've been to hockey games. I've been to basketball games. Because um, I will say, I've been to a lot of Milwaukee Bucks games because I used to live in Rockford, which is just as close to Milwaukee as it is to Chicago. And in the like 2012 through 2014, you could get Milwaukee Bucks tickets for a nickel. We so we would go to Bucks games all the time, and people get drunk as shit because uh, it was just a good fun time. So I've been to a lot of Bucks games actually. I don't think I've ever been to a Bulls game, but I've been to a lot of Milwaukee Bucks games in Wisconsin. <laughs> um. So that's fun. Usually I would like cheer for the other team. I cheer on I cheered for whoever helped the Bulls at that moment. Does that make sense? It's fun. Um But it's not a baseball game, like the food hits at a baseball game. The food just hits. And like there's something that makes you want to get drunk and have a good time and like it's really fun watching the game. It's also really fun just kind of ignoring it when it gets boring like cuz there's a lot of downtime between there's lots of singing and bullshit in downtime. Uh, so there's a lot of time to just, like, shoot the shit and hang out. And it's just it's just so good. I love going to baseball games. It's so fun. I like, It's weird. I love watching basketball on TV. Basketball and hockey are two things I love watching on TV. Um, hockey, I like seeing in person, but I need to be, like, up high. Uh, I don't actually like being, like, on the ground at a hockey game because you can't fucking see what's going on. I like the bird's eye. Like, that's what I like about watching on TV. It's like the bird's eye view. And with basketball, it can be hard to keep track in person. Um, we used to get, so the, like the Bucks stadium is like this, like there's the court and then it's just like a vertical climb because it's small, but they wanted to fit a lot of seats. So we would get seats at like the very top and you could feel like the air getting thinner and the game looked like teeny tiny. Like you were watching a miniature game. It was so cute. Um, and, you know, you could walk and sit wherever you wanted because every, like, the stadium was always half full. It was a Milwaukee Bucks game. So you got a ticket, and then you just kind of wandered. Um, but you could mount, like, climb all the way up and get, like, a good vantage point. So that was okay. But I like games that are fast-paced like that. I prefer watching on TV so I can, like, keep track of everything a lot easier. But if I do go in person, I like to be kind of, like, up higher. Uh, baseball games, I'll sit anywhere. I don't give a fuck. I usually like to sit under the bleachers or with something with shade because I'm allergic to sunscreen. And so one time I did like the straight up bleacher seats like in the outfield at Wrigley. And oh my God, I died. It was so hot and I just turned, my entire body was red. It was horrible. I did not pass out, but that was one of the times that like I, you know, I'm bad with heat. It makes me, it makes me faint. Like one of these fainting goats jrpg characters yeah see i just always think it's fun like rooting for something like creating storylines and stuff <coughs> <coughs> okay so if we can own one more property and we can get seven more employees i have to climb it, we only moved up one rank i'm shocked 
We're still a sweatshop. I poured a million yen into this company. I should have poured more. Should, I can only have four operations left. Zyger, did you pour a lot more money in before your first operation? What did you do? Is there nothing growing in my plants? Oh, I'm not there yet. I'm stupid. It's right here. Look, here they are. I grew these. This is mysterious carrots. Oh my goodness, what up? And I'm gonna grant, grant. I'm gonna plant some more garlic. And here's my flowers. Look, I planted these. Look, I got roses. I planted these roses and then I grew them and then I harvested them. Some more lilies. Nice. Oh, uh, they're gonna turn out awesome because I planted them with tons of love. Duh. Oh, I think is that the one that I thought I. No, there's a. Oh, there's a taxi right here I wanna grab. I knew there was a taxi back here. That's not a shareholder meeting. Oh, okay, that makes me feel better. I was like, I only got five of these, and I gotta go up high. I like to think that they're gonna beat my ass because I just pushed that girl, but in reality, I'm gonna beat their ass. I'm a bully. You're a burnout bully, I'm a regular bully. I'm a burning bully. There's no vocals for the song, I swear to God. Oh God. Right there. I think there's people outside on the street talking. You hear that? Yeah. There's definitely, like, you hear that little bit of dialogue? See, there's. I can hear it. Fuck you guys. I figured it out. I don't care if it's not even out. That's what it was. It was just ambient dialogue. But, same. And I run. Oh, wait. I just want to use this taxi that's I'm here for. I'm going to get hit by a car. So I keep acting a fool. Please, please just get in. Um, where do I want to go? Where do I want to go up here? So I guess we're going to this one. Right? Okay, you did hear it. Okay, good, 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 good. So it's, like, it's happening so like weirdly, it's gonna be hard to catch, so fuck it. But yeah, okay, cool. I have french fries I'd like to reheat. I'm getting hanky. Oh no, that was the taxi. I got there, and now I need to go here. <coughs> I'm killing this. 
chips. Oh, I have fr I have chips too. I have chips and I have McDonald's french fries that I would like to reheat. And some nugs I would like to reheat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 500 yen, what now, bitch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, another 500 yen, what now, bitch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100 yen, what now, mm -hmm. bitch? Okay. Call that pretty fucking good. Ooh, I can cross now. I think I have to be on the side of the street. Don't waste my time. No, Zyger, I have potato chips. They're lace. Oh my god, there's Bleach Japan douchebags. Now I just get to beat the shit out of them whenever I see them. Right. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. You want to go? You're going to get the job. God, the job ranking really starts crawling after, I'd say, about seven. Um, but our girl's level 18, so we got two levels to go. Yeah, I can't believe that you can top out at 99, considering how slow we're grinding now. I would expect a level cap of, like, 40. Which makes me wonder how large this game is. Oh, I didn't mean to come in here. <gasps> but by that, I mean I absolutely meant to come in here. I found some tuikis. Yeah, I'm just gonna fight you. I'm gonna fight you. Look, these Bleach Japan guys are hanging out with actual, like, wearing ski mask robbers. This Automo burglar over here. I like neither fish nor the soggy french fries the British people call chips. Just saying. They do like KFC potato wedges and call them chips. I feel like chip connotes like a, like a crispy, like that ch you know, and like the British fries are just soft. Sad. I got impure lead. You can do this. Oh shit, I'm starting to think I didn't have to cross the street. Oh, that's cool. All right. Yeah, I feel like once this like once I have the whole map where I can traverse the whole map pretty comfortably, um, and I can really jump into a lot of these quests, I'll be able to get a lot more money, especially. And then more money will be like more school. And there are quests that I can't do until I reach certain personality things. Now I know, so that's pretty tight. Man called Anzai. Shark stars. Well, the beard's new. That's definitely the guy in the photo. I would be really bad at this. I'm really bad at like, oh, this is a photo of them 20 years ago. Find them now. Do you know? No, I can't. I'm sorry. I will require assistance. <laughs> That's really adorable. Number five. Like, I've been paying so much attention, I swear to God, but I don't know anything you just said. Oh, these are those, these are those kind of baseball fans. Oh, so girl, I love you. Yo. They're literally kicking the shit out of a homeless man. Hey, baseball fanatics, you don't look that swole. I'm like six foot nine. Look, I'm just passing by. But are you guys beating up a homeless man? Because I'm going to eh? beat the shit out of you. See how you like it. Two on one? How about four on two? Oh, does that feel unfair to you? I'm drinking orange wine, apparently. But I'm just... Zyger is just the perfect mark because he just tells you exactly whatever's written on the bottle he's drinking a buzz ball he's drinking a 30 cent thing of malt liquor and vodka 
<laughs> He's drinking like lemon lime Kool Aid right. with vodka in it, and it's like, oh, I'm drinking lemon juice, lime juice, and vodka. Like, it would be like me saying, I'm drinking um, lemon, strawberry, watermelon, and guava. Oh, this contains red can be red number 40. I don't know what that means, but they felt the need to put it on the label. Am I gonna die? I don't respect them, so I'm not paying attention to this fight. Hmm. It doesn't list any other dyes. Red 40 causes cancer. Everything causes cancer, Zyger. Duh. I don't know. Well, joke's on you because red number 40 causes cancer. <laughs> Prove it doesn't. Prove it doesn't. Yo. Hey, those guys were just like kicking the shit out of you, huh? So you really are him. Well, that's cool. I'm really good at looking at pictures of people. Ooh. Yeah, they were kicking the shit out of the right guy. you. I remember this guy named Hanayama. You might know him. He's the one you just got kicked the shit out of for. Like, what the fuck is that? You might know. Tell me if you've heard of him. Um, You ruined your career and are now, like, public enemy number one because of him specifically, and you also used to be best friends. Familiar? Not? Sipping on peach desert? Oh, yeah, I saw you drinking that fuzzy navel. When I was little, I, like, didn't like peach. I don't know. I very much remember not liking peach things. Like, I don't like peach rings. Uh, but now I really like yeah. peach stuff. Well, I like mango peach stuff. And I love, I've always loved eating peaches. Like, peaches. But I've never liked that artificial peach flavor. And I think maybe I do now. Because I would be interested in trying a real fuzzy navel again. Like, I'll drink a bellini. I don't give a fuck. Mmm. Zyger so just sneezed twice. I don't know if that carried. Probably not. Zyger so just sneezed twice in a row, and I was like, Zyger. Yep. Yeah. You sneeze three times, you're gonna die. I'm just letting you know. I'm worried. You gotta stop it. If you sneeze three times. I learned I already did. Oh, we already done know that, Zyger. This quest, I will admit, I don't care about. I'm gonna confess that. It's just some boring, like, it sounds like a Tanya Harding thing, but with baseball. So it's like, whatevs. <sighs> Who the fuck is this guy? You have a very suspicious hat. Has anyone told you that, sir? I did hear you telling him he was gonna die. Well, that was the context. It's not, I'm just, you know, don't kill the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. I could still survive the shot. So just don't do that part either. I, I didn't care for this fest when I did it, and I thought that seeing you do it would make me care for it a little bit more. It didn't. <laughs> well said. Yeah, um, this fest is fine. We're definitely gonna do it. We're gonna take a little ticky taxi. Um. But it's, 
boring me. So we're gonna call it here, and I'm gonna have Zyger pull up who's streaming right now, so we can go raid somebody, and then I'm gonna heat up my little chicken tendies. Um, we will be doing Netflix and chills tomorrow, so I think we're gonna do GG. G G G GBBO after Netflix and Shells. I am worried because it was like glitching out on us last week too, so I might have to switch to Discord before then. But either way, um, we usually do GG GBBO on Saturdays. So I think we do it on Saturday. Because uh, I went to bed at 8.30 this morning, and then I woke up or a little bit before 4 p.m., and then I started streaming because I didn't want to be any later than I already was. Um, Sean, Jeffrey, or Omni J Bear. Oh, these are all great people. Son of a whore. Um, oh god, I love all these people. Um, what are they playing? What are they playing? Right? How do you choose? Let's pick my children. Are any of them playing Yakuza? Wait, that might actually be bad. What if they're ahead of us? I don't think they could be ahead of us. We're making pretty good progress. Um, what are the other, what are the other ones playing? I like this. Let's What's going on? What's everyone doing? What are we doing here? What are you doing? What are we doing? Oh, you're taking too long. Let's do Sean Capri. I haven't done anything with Sean Capri in a minute. Um, so we'll raise Sean Capri. Last time we played Kelsey and we learned that Kelsey's as good at lying as Mach Zero. <laughs> it was very cute. She was doing her best, but she's just an honest sweetheart, which I like. I like seeing that all my friends are bad at lying. Like, versus Biden's store girl, now I'm a little afraid of. Because you get, and then like, I was like, oh, you're so bad at lying. That's so cute. And apparently I was the first person to say that ever. And they've been playing for a while. So she was like, I'm not bad at lying. And I was like, oh, honey, everyone around you must be pretty good at lying if you didn't know that. <laughs> oh, God, it was so precious. Okay, we'll switch over to Sean because he's playing Animal Crossing, and that sounds very cute and soothing. Um, Ms. Nin Ms. Nintendi has also been playing a lot of Animal Crossing, and she always looks very cute when she's playing because she does, like, she knows all the cool stuff that I don't. That game intimidated the shit out of me. I made it like two weeks and then I just got too intimidated by everyone on Twitter. Honestly, Twitter ruined that game for me. I've never had a game be ruined by Twitter before. Tell me when you're queued up. I'm just vamping right now. But also, I've never had a game ruined for me by Twitter before because it was like, I thought I was making pretty good progress. And usually the fun part about like doing stuff with friends is you're making good progress together and you can kind of compete a little bit, but once people started time jumping and then everyone just started getting way too far ahead of me, I was like, I don't really want to time jump. This doesn't seem really fun. And I don't know, it just died. Okay. Um, 